Lovely. And we are live. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. Wow, a non weekend live stream. Look at that. I am committed to the cause. Uh, as promised, of course, we are going to be playing the AMX M4 MLE 54. I'm just going to abbreviate the M4 for simplicity's sake. It is currently in the store for uh, a decent hefty chunk of gold. It's like, I think it's 25,000. Yeah, it's 25,000. It's a little more than I paid for it. But since it's in the store, I'm sure some players are picking it up or want to take it for a spin again. Let's give the take a go. One thing that kind of surprised me is uh this tank doesn't get played as much as much as i would have expected to the point where i'm wondering if it's almost a little underrated because there are some really nice aspects about this vehicle but before that hello to everybody in chat great to see you as always we got martin aldo ominous frost Leonard, bebo <laughs> matt uh fantasy drift captain g horse uh boy clan 96 pixar ivy or Libby, it's something like that. Tennessee, Lucky, Sunsor. Good to see you guys. Welcome so much to the stream. Hope you're having a great week. It is always, as a, as always, it is a pleasure to have you here. Oh, Fatness Daddy. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Don't hype me up, Timmy. Don't hype me up. <laughs> hey, Jen, how's it going? Borderline OP tank. I know, Jen. I know. There's some really good things about this vehicle. So, not Kali with the donation. M6 XP, but the turret is actually good. Kinda. Yeah, honestly, it feels very similar to an M6 EXP. I, I never even thought about that. Would you know? Good stuff. Anyways, to anyone else in chat that I haven't caught out specifically, hello, hello. Good to see you guys here. So, let's discuss the M4 before we jump into some games. Strengths. Frontal armor profile when using any kind of gun depression is really, really solid. <laughs> Mobility in terms of acceleration, actually pretty good. It's a pretty fast heavy considering just how massive it is. Um, it has decent gun depression. I think it's eight degrees. I could be wrong. Let me verify. Eight degrees of gun depression. It has high alpha damage. I think it's 480. Gosh, I should have done my research beforehand. Yeah, 480 alpha damage. You get tungsten shells. The on movement dispersion is not as bad as you would expect given the alpha, but the gun can be derpy at times. Overall, I think the gun's fine. It's pretty reliable. Uh, some of the weaknesses absolutely gigantic profile super weak lower plate just buttery sides um the traverse speed can be a little bit slow but given the size it's to be expected and so it means that if you're caught in the open or in a crossfire you're gonna suffer a whole lot in this tank uh but if you can find that right hold on position where you can use seven eight degrees of gun depression on a small slope cover that lower plate uh, and the vehicles are in front of you, you're gonna have a great time. This is the equipment loadout I am currently running on the tank. I don't even know if it's optimized, to be honest. This is just what I have had on my press account for last year or so for the M4. So um, yeah, this is what I'm running. I do run the high-end consumables. And the reason I do that is so when you are using tungsten shells, you can increase its duration and get more reliably three shots of tungsten now. So let's jump into some gameplay and hopefully have a good time. Never mind, I'm back. Hey, Ellie, haven't seen him much in battle, no joke. I know, I rarely see this tank. And it, it's still, it's been in the store for a week. And I hardly see them. I don't know why. I guess, that's why I'm wondering if the tank's just not very popular. I thought it would be really popular, but, you know. It, it was really popular when it was released. And even back then, it didn't have tungsten. So here's what we're going to do for the start of this game. Let's turn the audio down a little bit on my end so I can hear. Uh, so I'm not actually getting my eardrums destroyed. Okay. So, my team is gonna- this is mine. This is- theoretically, this should be kind of one of the most ideal scenarios for a tank like the M4MLE. The only problem is, even though we had three medium lights and then we had two, they actually took the hill. So, you know what? Shout out to them for that. They managed to take the hill there very, very, very easily. Um, and we do have to watch out for TDs. Now, once again, like I'm saying, this tank just has such a big profile. It's really risky to pull up onto the hill and poke. As you can see, they have 183. Oh, well, case in point, the yo that got distracted went on the hill. Just got absolutely nuked. So what I'm going to do instead, is we know they have a 50B somewhere back here. There he is. I'm going to see if I can start working down this AMX 50B at all. 
Now, I don't know if he's going to pull forward again. It looks like he is not because the owner's giving him free shots for days here. Maybe he'll pull forward just a little bit. And the Sheridan has actually dropped off. Now, we know where the 183 is. So, let's put a quick 560 alpha damage shell into the Sheridan. That's what Tungsten does. Gives you that about 550 alpha, I would say, on average. At least, that's what I usually roll when running Tungsten. And it makes it very, very comfortable. Now, our Bat Chat's taking the hill. He has now officially taken the hill. So, I'm going to leave our E100B for now. Hopefully, he doesn't get 50 beat. One thing that I've always preached about on this channel is to not overexert yourself at encounter cap on mines. And the reason being is when you do that, you get crossfired out. Unless you're sure things are going to go fine. Now, this is not going to be a farm game. My team has just been absolutely killing it. Shout out to the allies this game. They have done a fantastic job holding down the front, holding down the fort basically here on the front line. Um, I'm not sure if that 183 is poking. Let's just take a blind shot in case he is. I probably should have stayed for the 50B in retrospect. It's not like I can really push with these TDs here. So, yeah, let's just kill the 50B. He has no support. That was an error on my part. I am wasting so much time driving back and forth. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, our flank was secure. And then I went the wrong way. Let me just try and not bump into this dude. Let's put a quick shell into him. 508. Oh, we did blind fire the 183 at least, I think. Because you can see I've done 1,500 damage so far with my three shots. So, that means we have high rolled. Um, I'm just going to push across here. Help kill this M uh, AMX 50B, hopefully. There we go. Good stuff. And then turn my attention back for this T110E4 here in just a moment. Now, we can use the Sheridan as a bit of haul down cover here. Although, we probably will still take a shot. Let's set a blind shot in. I think it actually went underneath the T110E4 there. And you know what? We have a lot of HP. I'm just going to send it across. Now, obviously, on flat ground or if there's a tank above you, your upper plate's not going to be that strong. Although, the E4 did shoot an APCR shell at me. Oh, maybe my blind fire did hit. Uh, so, we do have to keep that in mind. I'm going to get ready to start pressuring this E4 here. E4 is still in the open. Let's aim for his lower plate. Very good. 515. This alpha damage is fantastic. 3,000 damage. And the game is actually throwable. Interesting. You know what? I, I probably shouldn't take a shot from this T124 here. So let's pick up a kill shot on him real quick. Hitting the top of his turret and ricocheting there, but we are still doing okay. There is the 183. 183 has now just fired. Let's HP the VK. All right, the 183 is a guaranteed two shot at this point. So I think what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna give him a couple of little love taps. Hopefully with the support of our T22 here, we can pick up a clean kill on him and we can go back for the VK90 now. I should have enough HP to deal with them, no problem. Um, actually, he is giving me a free lower plate shot here. So let's just fully aim this one in, 530 damage dealt. And, I mean, this game was terrible at first. I was wandering back and forth, but maybe in the end, me preserving my HP and just staying alive with that, with enough hit points to push in towards the late game was all that my team actually needed to win this battle because we actually pulled out 4,000 damage here. I wasn't expecting to, but 4,000 damage, three kills, and just like that, you can see the strength of the M4. Personally, I think unless you're playing in a committed haul down position, um, armor isn't really a super big strong point about this tank, it, unless you are in a hold down position. Otherwise, really, you do have to capitalize on its trading power, especially with those tungsten shells, right? You can guarantee those high alpha damage shots. And 480 alpha is great. You roll 500 all the time. As our last game demonstrated, we rolled 500 for practically every single shot. Um, so not a bad first game. I thought I was throwing my damage. And then I thought we might lose, but that was like, no, nah, I have too many hit points. But we actually managed to clutch, <laughs> clutch up a decent battle there, thanks to our allies all dying on the hill. I'm honestly hoping this tank loses the consumable and gains gun handling or something. Jen, I could see that definitely being a nicety. Um, to be honest, I love tungsten shells, but I would love even more if it had like a, a little bit more accurate gun. But at the same time, I feel like maybe if we're going to make the gun too strong, um, it could be broken. Right, uh, because right now, I think this is still a very capable tank. I think what a lot of players just need to really understand about it is, yes, it has a lot of armor, but it also has a lot of not armor all along the sides and everything, which means you really have to pay attention to where you're putting your tank or else you're going to get crossfired out and just eviscerated so fast. I'd love to say I watch the stream, but I have to go to work. Unfortunately, have good night, fatty. Hope your teams aren't too bad. Not Royal Fantasy Drills. Thank you so much for the $20 donation. Really do appreciate it. Hope you have a great night. Thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate it. All right. So we got ourselves... A 57 heavy here. Let's put a tungsten shot into him there. The Yo putting two shells. The Yo with the perma track. 
The Yo does have the perma track. His Amorak is also damaged, and best guess what? Tungsten gives you increased ammo. Um, I believe it gives you increased damage to modules. Sadly, wasn't able to Amorak him there, but he did lose about all of his HP there. So our Yo should hopefully be able to pick up a kill here. Very nice. It looks like the enemy team. I got to be really careful of that 183. We don't know where the 183 or WZTD are. But at the moment, I'm going to make an assumption here that they are not back there. And that we should probably spot up the middle and try and cover this E100 from poking out my team for free here. So, E100 about the bolt forward, 490 damage into him. We've already dealt 1500 damage so far, so halfway to that 3k mark. Lovely stuff indeed. Uh, there is the WZ. E100 is kind of just sending it. I would love to see here all game. Okay, this is really risky. He's to have a 183 back there. But at the same time, I think that my team could probably just use some frontline support here. Their HP isn't very high. It's mostly TDs. If they get yoloed here, it could be very treacherous. So I'm going to go back and actually just help our uh, frontline here. And hopefully with the 183 about to go down, I mean the E100 about to go down, we should be fine here in just a moment's time. Speaking of 183, we have now found their 183 and their WZ. Uh, the only issue that I foresee right now is I can't really push in on this 183. Not really very comfortably at all. So... That 183 is in that bush waiting for me. Sadly, my teammates are not doing too well. Where's my last ally? It's the Yo. It is the Yo indeed. Our 183 hitting a very solid shot there. That's really important for our allies. Let's just poke this bush a little bit. So far, nothing. Our 183 is being really aggressive. I still have a feeling their 183 could be back there, which is the only reason I'm super hesitant to poke out right now. We'll see if our Yo can spot him up. There he is, just as I had predicted. Let's put a quick shell into him. A nice max roll for 600 damage there. Um, and our Yo is now currently getting himself just absolutely nuked here. So, oh no, oh no, this could hurt. Okay, we're gonna pull into safety here. Oh nice, our 183 hitting a really clutch shot there. All right, we have this WZTD to deal with here soon enough, um, and a Sheridan. I'm gonna go and see if I can deal with Mr. Sheridan. And hopefully our 183 will be fine for now. All right, let's see. Mr. Sheridan's definitely bound to be pushing in from above. Okay, he's going for C cap. I see, I see. I maybe so maybe I should have stayed with our 183. I might have made a little boo-boo there. Yeah, I should have stayed with the 183. I'm going for the full HP target. That was a bad idea. That was a really, really bad idea. I'm sorry, 183. I was trying to keep the Sheridan off of your rear there. All right, Sheridan taking 600 damage to the face here. Our 183 does get taken down. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for the instant cap play for now. Okay. Looks like the TVP is headed towards A. I would assume he's going for A right now. It's like the Sheridan might be capping B now. That was a, that was a mistake on my part, man. That was a that was a pretty big error on my part here. Okay, we pick up a clutch kill there. That was an important one. Now I'm gonna go back for B. I know this TVP's flanking me because I mean, he was spotted running the opposite direction. Okay, there's the Sheridan. Uh, am I gonna have to play ring around the Capsies? It's like we might have to play ring around the Capsies here. Oh, let's see if the Sheridan gives me a free shot at all. There's the TVP from behind. And let's see if we can stay Sheridan safe here. That'd be preferable. Sheridan does miss fire. He shot there. But I'm going to have to send it for this TVP, I think. That's my safest option right now. Because I don't have a whole lot of HP to be poking here. Okay. The key is to not get baited by this dude. All right, let's see if we can pull this off at all, boys. Trying to pull back a little bit here. Trying to get unspotted, maybe. Quick shot to this dude. Nice, the TVP will not have good lower plate shots on me here, so I can just pull back safely. Um, This cap pressure is going to be a big issue for me. Oh my gosh, where did that shot ricochet from? Now that's just a straight up scam. That's just a straight up scam. Okay, I gotta go and see B. I gotta get the cap stall at least here. I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna save my shot for the TVP. I'm not gonna show my rear to where I think the Sheridan's gonna be. Oh gosh, this game is terrible. I really messed that one up, guys. I really messed that one up when I didn't go for the, uh, with the 183. I thought the Sheridan was gonna YOLO in for the kill there, which is the only reason I'd kind of sent it. Uh, that was my, my mistake for sure, for sure. Oh, wait. This TVP might have messed up, though. He just 
may have messed up here. Okay, free kill on this dude. Sheridan putting a clean shell into me here. I'm gonna have to yell for the Sheridan. And just hope he doesn't manage to high roll me here. Which, unfortunately, that's not gonna be the case. Uh, can I get in TB in time? Hmm. Nah, he has too many cap points at this point, because they still have decap. I messed that one up, man. A little bit. Just a little bit. That was my bad. Ay ay ay. It's a feels bad man moment. Sheridan just playing capsies. No. This is so sad. This is why I hate supremacy. I'm turning supremacy off after this. Whee. They probably would have yoloed me if it wasn't supremacy. Or actually no, the Sheridan would have yoloed in if it wasn't supremacy. Boo! How not fun! Anyways, to be fair, that was uh, that was my mistake. Although, our, I thought our 183 had to kill on the WZ. The WZ had 600 HP. He must have shot Hesh and messed it up. The 183 still had a really good game, but if he had picked up the kill there, maybe we would have been fine. The TVP did a really good job, it looks like. I mean, it's a TVP. How could you not? Um, just for the sake of my sanity, any type of slow vehicle, I do not like to play Supremacy for that specific reason. It's so annoying. Um, ordinarily, you could force players into pushing you, right? And then maybe clutch up in situations like that. It's just running back and forth. <laughs> hey, Button. Hey, Curious. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome. Well, that wasn't really the best game. Oopsie. That was my fault, mostly, because I... To be fair, I thought the Sheridan and TVP were both going to be together over on um, B. And the WZ wouldn't have a TVP yellowing with them. Um, to be, also, to be fair, if I had stayed with the 1A3 there, um, they would have both just, the TVP would have just yelled to his death there. Uh, so I was kind of surprised he made that play because me and the 1A3 were spot together. I seriously did think they were going to go for a flank and I was going to leave her 1A3 to kill the WZ and then see what I can do about everyone else. So, where the heck did that shot go, by the way? Like, just straight up, where the heck did that shell go? Because that, that shot definitely did not hit where I wanted it to. All right, WZ has just fired at me. Giving me a nice side shot. Let's take it. Wow, with Tungsten. Oh, wait, wait, he's running reactive. I was like, how did I roll 430 with Tungsten? Nah, he was running reactive. It all makes sense now. Um, wow, so it does look like the enemy team are sending quite a few tanks over to this side of the map. Um, we're not going to hit that one. We might end up taking one here from the 704. Dude managed to bounce an APCR shell from him. I'm going to back up from here. I'm getting crossfired out from D, because apparently my allies do not realize they can straight up just clear D out. The enemy team have no TD support on that end. But hopefully we can just turn around and change the course of this battle. Nice. So our Sheridan and M60 are pushing up pretty aggressively here. The Minotauro is there for support. Um, it looks like the Sheridan is going to maybe spot me up here. I'm going to go take med side. I don't think they have anyone over here. And I would rather not lose this flank completely at the moment. So I'm going to push in. I didn't realize <laughs> that our Sheridan was AFK. That's why I thought they could win that side when I was saying, I don't know why I don't push there. All right. So we have managed to safely cross. There is now a 50B on my boute, which is kind of a rip. Um, but we can at least start dealing with this AMX here. So let's get ready to load up a high explosive shell for the AMX. 540 damage dealt into him. Uh, we're going to get nice and haul down from this dude. Good stuff. Our Sheridan is kind of throwing his tank away a little bit here, maybe. Try to shoot their Sheridan, but that, well, yeah, this gun is a bit hit or miss. Uh, the 50B should get wrecked for playing super aggressively there, but I don't see him spotted anymore, so I can't really tell. Oh, wow, yeah, okay, so he is behind TD cover. All right, nice, but just in time for me to start maybe shooting him again. This team has not been very good so far. Let's put a tungsten shell into him, 538. He should be on 700 HP by now, but... Uh, so it was the way of RNGs. Um, hopefully our Sheridan can at least pick up a kill on that dude. And he manages to fail miserably. All right, since I have 14 seconds of tungsten left, maybe we can get a shell into this Hori before he pulls into cover here. Well, the Hori might just be yellowing in. Okay. So yeah, the Hori is pushing in on me a little bit. I have a feeling it's only a matter of time before that Sheridan pulls up to my right side. I'm going to just back up to safety for now. We're just going to get hauled out in the corner. Hopefully our Minotauro doesn't just send the open and get himself killed unnecessarily. Because, you know, that would that would kind of blow. He's my last ally left here. Um, okay. I don't know what this 50B's luck is. But it is next level, man. That 50B is next level. A lucky son of a gun. 
damage. The amount of shots that have just missed him this game. That shouldn't have. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Those are two, like, full... That dude should be practically dead by now, if not already dead. Alright, I'm sure the Hori is pushing in behind somewhere. There's the 50B. 416 in there. There's the Hori. We're just gonna try and get safe from the 704 for now. Maybe in time for one more shot of damage. Okay, so that team was really, 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 really bad. Um, our TDs just sat there, did nothing. Our Sheridan, uh, he was AFK for most of that game. Uh, and then I, yeah. I tried to clear med, med side, which I think was the right play to make there. But oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know why I see so many Minotauros sniping on hills and spawn. That tank is a terrible sniper. It was never made to snipe. It's like you sh you're much better off going haul down with your teammates or something, being a little closer to the engagement because the gun is not really good on the middle unless you're up close. So that's kind of a rip, but oh well. Not a whole lot I could do about that team. Okay. I think even if I was in any other kind of heavy tank in that scenario, there really wouldn't have been all that much of a difference I could make that battle. Um, unless I was in a fast heavy and I could have taken corner, which would have been my initial plan, but the M4 is just too big and fat to take corners, so I opted not to. All right, let's load up the tungsten here. 540 into this dude, which back up from the E4 as quickly as possible. Good stuff. Very nice. So good start to this game. It is False Creek. This is a pretty nice map, if I say so myself. We're going to so slightly peek out here 60 tp able to hit me barely in my lower plate there <laughs> but also he lost like 90 percent of his hp doing that wait did he just blind fire that dang if that was a blind shot that was a good shot on his part man all right so the e4 is now pulling back i don't think the 60 tp is gonna poke there again he would be a bit stupid to do that oh. maybe i was wrong maybe i was wrong do it do it do it do it, do it. To put it forward. I knew that you want to. You can smell it in the air. He wants to so badly. Ah! That's where the M4's accuracy is a bit, uh, yikes. Yikes. It's it's not good at snapshotting. Mind you, this tank is much better for medium to close distance ranges. Um, sniping at weak spots is not really what it's good at. Big surprise. Uh, let's, see that, let's see if that yo spots me up. So far, no yo. Our flank is about 50-50 at the, at the moment. Uh, 60 TP pulling up a little bit. Nice. 493. We've done 1600 damage almost with three shots. I do love the alpha damage on this tank. It's like every four shots or so is guaranteed to be about 1900 to 2000 damage. Especially if you're using tungsten. If you're using tungsten, it's going to be like 2100. All right. So you see that this dude is pulling up a little bit. I'm going to let the concept take the attention here just because I don't want to lose any unnecessary HP. 470 to this dude. E4 is poking. We can just stay nice and safe from him. The yo is doing yo things. He's popping his accuracy consumable mad late there. Oh my goodness, where did the 268 come from? 500 damage into him, okay. 2500 damage dealt with uh, uh, five shots or so. And now this E4 is looking a bit like a snack over here. So I'm gonna pop those tungsten shells for a side shot, 579. The yo is trying to shoot at me here. Um, but it's too late for him. This E4 should be dead here in a moment. And I guess that's game over. Wow, what a fast battle. That was just an absolute steamroll of a game. We still managed to get 3k damage out though, so I'm happy. Oh, excuse me, buddy. I, I thought you were gonna full send it there. <laughs> You're not gonna get shots from back there, trust me. This dude is is not gonna just yellow out backwards. The dude is say we'll probably pick up a kill on him. But hey, at least we got a dub. I'll be happy with it. This like was pretty nice, I'm too. Yeah, uh, M4? I like it. I actually really, really enjoyed this tank. I think as far as tier 10s go, it has a very unique play style, and it there isn't really any tier 10s that feel too similar to this vehicle, which is kind of nice because we have a lot of kind of copy copycat tanks that are very similar feeling. This one definitely feels unique in tier 10. I just kind of wish the legendary camos have more bright colors. I want more of the realistic legendary camos. <laughs> 3100 damage dealt. Not shabby. We did okay in the end. Um, a very fast, a very fast game. Well, it started out pretty slow, but then once my team made that push, it was just instantly over for their team. So we were only able to get out about 35, uh, 30, 100 or so damage there. Kind of want to do a little more than that, but it's okay. At least we got the dub there. I like that it doesn't. Yes. <laughs> Am I late? Uh, just about 20 minutes. Not too late. 
he's not getting very good med support. No. <laughs> All right. I am definitely going heavy side here. I'm going to start by going to the ramps. Maybe if there is a Yag or an E4 or 57, something crossing a little later will be fine. But, you know, one thing that's nice about the M4 is you're able to easily accelerate to about 40 kilometers an hour and get to positions faster than you would expect for a tank of this size, right? And so we might be able to catch someone off guard that's crossing. At least that's my goal here. So there's the Patton. Um, so far, no one spotted but the medium tank. And I'm going to just wait for a moment in case they still have some latecomers crossing. But considering that I've to be spotted up, no one. They're either all sitting in the back of here or they are... There we go. Okay, so they're just really slow with the rotation. That's what I was thinking. Okay, so our 50B has royally had a terrible time on this corner here. Let me see if I can provide you with a little bit of support here. We're gonna wait for Mr. E4 to maybe get a little bit over aggressive here. I need I'll need you to not block me here, buddy. Hey, hey, CD! Thank you so much for the donation. I aced it earlier a couple times with some six thousand damage games, but we'll have to see if we can if we can get the big brain aces out. All right, all right, all right. God dang, the E4 can outspot me from back there, which means poking here is just gonna be really, really risky for me. Um, buddy, I'm just trying to back up here. So. Here's my bet. We can probably hold this position here pretty comfortably together, me and my allies. Um, I'm going to make sure this E4 I has space to pull out side, kind of not fully sideways, but no, quick pace to, to poke a little bit here. All right, their E4 has just fired. Just put a track shot into him with tungsten, 550 damage dealt onto him. Me and this E4 are kind of just getting in each other's way, so I might back up to a slightly different position here. Um, one where I could maybe, maybe just maybe get a hash shot on the C4. 530 damage down to him there. Perfect stuff. So we've already done a thousand damage to this dude with a couple of shots here. Um, his C4 is not really having the best of days. Right, that 57 is still being aggressive. 440 damage to him there. Let's just back up quickly from the C4. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. One of the best parts about the M4 is how stinking good its reverse speed is. It has excellent. And I mean excellent reverse speed. Just pick up a kill on that dude. Dude, I'm telling you, as far as playing this tank, just take it easy and your opportunities will arise. And you will get some pretty solid damages in this vehicle. Let's put a track shot towards this dude. Sadly unable to hit him there. My teammates are absolutely killing this flank, so I'm going to get ready to push in. E4 should have the kill here, and we can just full on send it. It's already a dub at this point. Wow. So me and the E4 held really well there. Luckily for us, their allies had an excellent crossfire, so the enemy team was not able to just straight up YOLO us for free. And I thought I saw spawn sniping eyes for it. I could be tripping. Hmm. I am tripping just a little bit. He's not spawn sniping. He is. Uh, don't bump into me. He's the big AFK. Ay, 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 T22. Well, I guess everyone's just yoloing to farm an AFK. Maybe I should just load up a premium AP shell because I don't trust in the accuracy on this tank very much. Nah. Screw it. We're going to believe in the RNG. Yes. All right, 460 into this dude here. That puts me at 3,000 damage. Let's save the adrenaline and the tungsten for the Jagdpanzer. And um, the Jagdpanzer and M48 Patton, who are still pretty much in the open. I guess we'll hopefully be able to get about 34, 3,500 damage out before this battle is over here. Let's put a quick shot onto this Jag. 509, good stuff. Jag's about to get 183'd. Farewell, my friend. Farewell. He, he is... Oh, the 183 actually messed up his shot there. Let's go. Give me that tungsten Yeageru farm. All right, let's fully aim in on this dude. No, the Sheridan nuking him. Greedy for that damage, but hey, we did pretty good. We got about 3.4, and sorry, not 3 point, 3 point, just under 3,900 damage out this game. I'll take that. I will very, very happily take that. Not a bad battle. Um, yeah, they had an AFK, so to be fair, it, it's not, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, I played it so well. They had an AFK. The, the point we did do well, though, was dunking on that poor, poor E4 that was trying to pull up there. Um, one thing I'll call out there is that me and that T110 E4 were just kind of getting in each other's way. And I realized that it was just really awkward for both of us to work that corner, especially since both of us wanted to hug pretty close to the inside, which is why I decided to kind of pull to a slightly different angle, one where I could mostly be hauled on, not really exposed to much of my haul, uh, and actually got some really nice dunk shots onto the E4 from there. So always try and be considerate of that when you are holding a position. Uh, if you're getting in the way or you feel like you're just going to struggle to work a position because one of your allies is also trying to work it, then try and find maybe a better position or hope that they find a better one. <laughs> so, all right. We are on one of the 
goaded maps for this tank, the good old mines here. We have a wild TBP taking 500 damage to the side there. To, he's going to try and shoot me again, and he messes up Omega there. And now that gives me an opportunity to just pull up a little bit here. Hello, Mr. 121. 550 damage into you. I'm just keeping my turret angle to the left here because I'm not really worried about an ST1. I am much more worried about uh, 183s and stuff. Let's put another shell into this dude. Do you see three tungsten shells? This is why I run the equipment that gives me longer lasting duration. Because you don't have to shoot on the reload to get that third tungsten shell in, right? You can be a little bit more easy. Um, this one to one B getting a little bit distracted there. We already dealt 2,000 damage. This is like the prime, the absolute prime scenario position for an M4. You have a bunch of heavies just kind of chilling in front of you. That was just poor aiming on my part, actually. I mean, it was a little bit of RNG, but I could have made that one in a little better. I kind of struggled there for a moment. And so that fast flick I adjustment I had to make last second there was the reason I messed that shot up there. All right, so the SD1. Okay, here's the only risk of running with a single, a single repair kit is if your poor, poor gun gets damaged, which surprisingly my gun's been damaged twice this game. Um, that can make life a little bit difficult here. All right, so this SD1 being quite aggressive here. Uh, thankfully, he is point blank. Don't use your reserve shell, dude. It's not worth. <laughs> it's not worth. Trust. Don't use your reserve shells like that, my, min my Minotaro friends. Um, all right. Let's see if we can do anything about this one two one. Wow, even with the damaged gun, this tank ain't half bad. Okay. So I got a wild Gorilla 15 over here. Absolute steamroll of a battle. Now, since my gun's damaged, I'm just going to go for the maximal AP, maybe. Not quite able to hit it, but I will happily just take this position here. Um, actually, I will even drop down for this dude here because I think the Minotaur is about to kill him. Nice. Uh, the gorilla is trying to shoot at me. That's that's kind of adorable. Hi. Hi there, buddy. IS-7 just sending it for this poor dude and unfortunately rams him out so I can't pick up the kill there. But what, uh, what a one-sided game, man. These games... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, once their TVP died, they lost all hill supremacy, and that game was just over with a holdout M4. That's like the prime scenario for you to be in, 4,200 damage. So easy. Um, yeah, I'm not going to really say I did anything special there. It was just a solid M4 game. But I'm really liking this thing. I think, you know, players just have to understand you got to be patient in this vehicle. It's, it may be somewhat mobile for a heavy and... You may think it has invincible front armor, but you are much better off playing this tank a little bit safer and just waiting for an opportunity to get those triple tungsten shells out, that 480 alpha. You farm up damage surprisingly fast if you just kind of hold a position and deal that damage. But I'd just be really careful in this tank about overextending because I see a lot of Amex on fours that just kind of push in a little too aggressively and they just have a terrible time as a result. Which, oh, hey, look, it's a Bobbers. It's a Bobbers. Look, Bobbers. Hi, Bobby. Oh, she just meowed and she came to say hi. Uh, gentlemen, nice job on your first half eight. You're <laughs> all you got though, because you are a mediocre player. Jackson, 55. Ay, ay, ay. Why are you trying to start beef with gentlemen? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get people like that, man. Gentleman is a good player. Gentleman is a quite good player, and he has played on a lot of comp teams in the past, so... <laughs> Don't diss my boy like that. <laughs> you know, the, the worst part about it is I can guarantee Jackson J55 is probably not much higher than a 50% player. <laughs> it's always the worst. It's always the worst players to try and call other players like absolute garbage in a chat or something. Um, I swear. <laughs> uh, Jackson has been banned, if you're wondering. Because I, I don't see the point in him just sitting here and chat. This is like the third time I've seen him try to start a drama with you, Jed. So I'm just banning him. Yeah, it is what it is. Hey, Gape. Hey, how's it going? Man, I haven't seen you in a long time. Oh, my gosh. A wild 113 GFT has appeared right in front of me. He is popping that reactive armor there. Um, there's also a yo over here. It's me and a 57 as well, though. We should be able to hold pretty pretty darn well here. I'm going to have to angle back for the wonder. We are probably just going to take a shot from this dude. We should at least be able to hit a tungsten to him. Oh, nice. We get the good ricochet here. And so my 57 heavy buddy here is just a, a straight up terrible ally, apparently. My goodness. What am I supposed to do here, dude? Oh, nice. We got one more ricochet. Okay. So, the 57 Heavy decides not to push up and cover me, but instead to just sit back. Same with the Jaegeru here. I'm just gonna have to pull in the cover now. Um, allies absolutely throwing the support there. Like, my goodness, man. That was 
pretty bad of them. All right, SD100 has just fired. He has also bone stock, so I don't have to worry too much about him. Let's put a shell into this dude, 550 damage. I'm gonna watch out for that E100 behind me as well. Seems like they are thirsting for me inside of this town. E100 firing there. And now we have a rather hungry M6 Yo pushing up on us, or M5 Yo, I mean. Um, I'm gonna have to hold this corner here, and hopefully our E100 can provide the cover fire that I need, so I don't end up just dying here. My only concern right now is that this E100 just straight up pushes out and shoots me in the bum. So, I'm gonna hold this position here instead. Cause, and just hope that that Yo stays distracted. Okay, nice, nice. Now, I think the Yo is gonna push in pretty soon once this E100 gets a bit distracted here. So, our E100 is still just sitting back for now. This Yo is also just chilling back for now as well. Interesting. Our E100's not really doing much. I'm not really sure what my allies are doing here, man. They are... Not being very productive though, that's for sure. Quick shell to this dude. Sadly he manages to hit a shell into me here. So we're gonna have to get up close and personal. Try and block this with my upper plate here. Go for a quick AP pen into his front here. Let's try not to give him too much of my side. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay, we got the second ricochet. That's all that mattered. Quick kill. And let's just watch our rear. So the E100's getting yellowed here. Oh, I am so dead to this AMX now, I bet. Okay, one more tungsten shell, please. Nice, 675. That was a... Wait, 675? Oh, wait, because I ramped him. Okay, okay. Let's just hope that this AMX has no clue what he's doing. APCR. Holy terrible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We got this lovely creature here. And the spawn sniping comp panzer. Also, my evil hunter was stopped. <laughs> this game would not have been close if the 183 had pushed in for support and if the 57 had just pushed up right off the bat to keep the, the WZ down there. Honestly, I'm surprised it did as much damage as I did in the end, all things considered. Um, I do not foresee our 183 winning this. He's just going to miss his opportunity here. Oh, kill the him. Eh. 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 <laughs> Talented players. Talented players. Oh, they go so hard. Dude, this WZ is so lucky, man. If my if my allied heavy tanks were not certified terrible, uh, we would have been fine here. <laughs> like the 57 didn't kill a 600 HP 100. It took him two clips, by the way, to do that. What are you looking at? But a buddy. Oh, this oh, this poor creature. This poor, poor creature. Uh, he probably shouldn't be in tier 9. He's still a player underscore. Okay, guys. Dibs on the win rate in chat. What do you think? 37, 38, 42. What's your bet, guys? What is your bet? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. Somebody call me bad. Anyways. <laughs> Time for Blitz a couple years ago. Uh, you're playing one of my favorite tanks. Ah, uh, yes. I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you, dude. Um, so I did almost 4k damage there. I think I did fine. All things considered, I thought I was cool to push in there with the heavies. I didn't realize I had a stocky 100. All right, guys, let's let's see. What do you guys have for the win rate of this dude? So, area 100, 48. He was stocked. This one a 3, 53, but he's 2600 games. Not very many, to be honest. I'm not really sure what the other guys did there. The 57 could have done worse. 51, uh, 43, 42, 45. All right, all right, let's see. 39. So, my guess was 37. <laughs> very close. <laughs> very, very close. Uh, let's see his dear tent. Collector, 39%. Collector, 37%. His highest tech tree tank is... Holy smokes. His highest tech tree tank is a tier 1. Guys, this player played five battles in a tier one tank and then probably just straight up started purchasing vehicles. He, oh my. Wow, he actually does surprisingly well in the regressor. Look at that. He's averaging three shots in the regressor and only a 40% win rate. Not bad. Oh my. Well, that, that explains a whole lot, doesn't it? Don't it, boys? <laughs> tier one is his highest tech tree tier. Basically, the compulsory games that you have to play when you start blitz in a tier one right and then he straight up just went and purchased like tier nine and ten uh, <laughs> my guys 
when I started playing Blitz. Oh, that reminds me. The STRVK promotional video that Wargaming posted. They got like, like they hired like voice actors to pretend to be Blitz players, um, praising just how amazing the STRVK is. One dude was like, I've been playing for two months, and this is my favorite tier 10 tank. I was like, come on, Wargaming. Why are you encouraging this type of behavior? Why are you hiring voice actors to say, I've been playing for two months, and I'm playing a tier 10 premium uh, collector already? Like, <laughs> that was so funny when I saw that. Also, the C50M is about to get a rude awakening. I forgot this tank cannot snipe. Also, 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 enemy team... Full on sending. Look at that. Look at that train of vehicles there. Oh my. Okay, so their whole team is sending it into town. Here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I'm about to get Yeagerud in the side, aren't I? Okay, or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure what spotted me. Um, I'm gonna go help on the hill. Personal opinion, pushing it on their spawn by myself right now is really risky. We don't know. Like, they, it, it's just hard. It's hard to work on that side of the spawn when they have all this map control. What I would much rather do right now is push in with my allies, get into a secure holdout position, and, and try my best just to provide them that necessary support where we can hold here with the YAG or maybe the E5 and, and not throw our vehicles away unnecessarily. So, that's precisely what I'm going to do here. All right, so, I'm in my M4. I'm just going to hold here. Me and this YAG can hold this ditch here. They get a little over aggressive. I'm actually going to take the left-hand side of where this Jaegeru is because I can actually work it a little bit. Obviously, I might have to overextend a little here. So we do want to keep an eye out on that E3. All right, so E3 has just fired. I'm going to look at who has the lowest HP. It's the 57. So let's focus the 57. Jaegeru making a bit of a boo-boo there. That's fine. I mean, this E5 can hold for now. Um, we will want to keep an eye on the TVP's positioning. Okay, okay. TVP taking a shot there from the team. Um, I just want to make sure I'm hold on. I'm going to use this little ditch here. And we're going to falsi falsify some gun depression. Maybe. Okay, there's the TVP. Quick shot to him there. Sadly, to E3 and Minotauro are now going to push up onto me for free here. And my allies are, so far, nowhere to be found. So, yeah, I guess, I guess this game is just kind of a throw on my part. Well, I have four tanks sitting here staring at me. I, I hope to... Whatever... Whatever, um... <laughs> I hope to goodness sake that someone on my team moves. Their oh, their whole team is here in front of me, guys. Their whole team is here. Please help me. <laughs> Please. I beg of you. Just give your boy a helping hand here. Please and thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Our Yag is still in the river. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't have pushed all the way in. I'm going to say it now, though. That very well may have been the only reason we can win this battle. The play I just made there. Because me being there stalled a five tank push for over almost two minutes, okay? Like, so almost two minutes. Or about a minute and 30 seconds or so. They had four of the five tanks just sitting there staring at me. They did not want to push, right? I knew it was a risky play, but I thought with the Sheridan on the hill, and E50M on the hill, and E5 on the hill, my allies would kind of prevent them from just yellowing over for free. That wasn't the case. However, this is the reason we're going to win this battle, right? I took a very, very annoying position to deal with for their team and straight up just prevented their allies from being able to push across. And that's all it took to give my team a fighting chance at victory here. Whether or not they pulled off I'm not really certain, but it is three against one. So there is a pretty, pretty decent chance there. Um, but yeah, like I said, from the, from the very beginning there. Oh no, don't. Oh, the Yak's throwing. Oh, he's throwing. Why did you hold the hill? He could have held the hill. Dude, this Yak could have actually have won this if he was a little bit more uh, intellectual with the gameplay there. Dang. Okay. So I'm not really too frustrated by that, by that, uh, by that game too much. I mean, to be fair, my allies should have been way faster in farming them there. The E5 could have gone to the left side of the hill and peeked over from the side and farmed them. You know, a lot of stuff could have been different there to give me a surviving chance. We did 2,400 damage. It wasn't crazy. But I'm going to be fair with you guys right now. If I had done the generic thing and pushed into the enemy spawn, sure, I would have 1v1 the Yag. My allies on the hill would have just been deleted. 
No one would have been there to stop that push. And stalling that push for as long as I did, just by taking the position where I thought their teammates were going to kind of push into, I knew I had to cross from the hill. Um, obviously, it didn't really go as planned because I was hoping to survive and farm like 4k damage there in the ditch with the crosshair with my allies. Um, my allies were not the best crossfires, but in the end, it did get us the W. So that's why I, I always as well like to preach about just how valuable it is to have map control in this game without map control it is really difficult to make a, a play to win games but that game was just all about the map control there and it worked out really really well for me uh, in the in the good old m4 well maybe not so well for me but it worked out well for my allies and that's what matters most all right since i am running rammer on this tank okay good so what i was just trying to do there was just to bait a shell d100 and that way if this i7 gets you know maybe a little bit overconfident. We could pop them tungsten shells, put one shell to him there. He tries to hatch snipe me. Obviously, that does not quite go as planned. Dude is making a break for it now. Um, that's cool. Here's what I'm going to do. I am not going to overcommit to this dude. There's the WZ 2D. Um, sorry, WZ Light. And the TVP is behind us as well. We have lost our WZ already. That's kind of a rip. And my tungsten is about to run out. Let's hope I get here in time to get a tungsten shell. There's the Waffen Pega. And there's the Conway and one of the other heavy tanks. I'm at one of the other T's, what I meant to say. Oh no, he wanted to actually manage to hit my hatch there. 540 damage to this fool. So like I've always said as well, M4 and flat ground, not really optimal. Um, you do have to be careful if you're on flat ground. It's a little bit harder to uh, consistently get those ricochets. Awesome, awesome. So the Conway we know is dead. I know the 268's still there, but... Oh dang, I was going to hope he wasn't in a position to shoot me there. Now, with this great M4 uh, reverse speed, I can just pull back safely here. And here's what I'm thinking. So, we know where the 268 is. Um, we know where the Waffen Traga is. Our 60 TP can hold there for now. Our flank is about to get deleted, like real hardcore. Um, and I'm going to put myself in a position to help defend our rear, basically. Although, our poor 60 TP is about to get Omega farmed here, I think. All right, let's see. 60 TP, you got to reverse the cover here, boys. If we all, if all three of us go back here, we have a fighting chance. All right, Waffle pushing in. 450 with the HE there. Very nice. I'm hoping this Vicar stays for some support here. Would appear he is not doing that. Um, our 60 TP is confirmed just dead at this point. So let's think about, once again, where we can get safe from these dudes. Um, TBP wants to take one for the team. We low roll him just a little bit there. But I'm not going to let myself fall off all the way just yet. Instead, what we're going to do here is we're going to go pick up a quick kill shot into this dude. Okay. And now it looks like the WZ light's going to push down for me. Let's just try and get nice, nice position here. Very good, very good. That was a very terrible shot by me. Nothing else I can say about it. Um, I'm going to do my best I can here. Alright, Waffenträger might be stuck there for the rest of the game. It's my, it's my, my thought process right now. So... If the Waffenträger is indeed stuck there, 268's gonna give me a nice rear shot. Let's take it. 570 with the tungsten shells there. Good stuff, indeed. Alrighty. And here is what else I'm thinking about. So, WZ is probably going for a flank at this point. Oh my gosh, it's 100 Okay. I only have 1,000 HP to spare here, so I gotta be really careful not to take an unnecessary shot. Although I might take one for the 268. We at least managed to pick up a really important kill shot there. Okay, question is, where's this WZ light at? You know, I'm probably dead here. The WZ light's not on the cap, is he? No, it's the Waffenträger that's on the cap. Waffenträger does have small liner, so shoot AP. Ah, he splashes me. And I think that's game over for me, boys. WZ light's probably gonna come around and kill me now. I did the best I could there. I did the best I could there. If Honestly, if I hadn't taken a shot from the 268, that was me throwing. Real hardcore. Okay, let's see. Wait, WZ Light was on cap as well. I didn't realize. That was a bit dumb of me then. Ah, he HE'd. Feels bad, man. Uh, did the best I could there. Allies, terrible as per usual. They, I don't know how they all got themselves killed, but uh, it is what it is. Um, it looks like our spawn just fell apart. It did 5,000 damage, so not too shabby. Um... Hmm. I think this is okay, but he had no one to help him on mid side. 
Wow, no wonder we lost that. Two tier 10 TDs. 38 and 45% win rates respectively did zero. And of course, they're in a plus here of TDs. So that's a red flag in of itself. Unless you're MJ, of course. <laughs> what am I to do? What am I to do? Mm. I thought... I thought I had to kill the 268 there. Blessed RNG shot on him, by the way. But... Uh, I really shouldn't have taken that shell. In retrospect, if I had not taken that shot on the 268 and I had maybe pushed on him from the front instead of going all the way around, we actually might have been able to clutch up 6,000 or so damage that game. Maybe not a dub, but we could have at least gotten another 1,000 damage out of that if I didn't take that shot from him. But it is what it is. Uh, it is what it is. That game was going to be really, really rough anyways because the M4 doesn't have particularly high DPM. So if I'm not full HP in a 100% good holding position and they're trying to cap me out, it was going to be a bit of a tough battle. Um, so, yeah. The M4 did fine, though. I mean, we farmed up 5,000 damage. You know, just about 5,000 damage there. So I would say the M4 did a more than sufficient job other than me taking a couple hits that I probably shouldn't have. Just put that tungsten AP premium AP shell through this dude. This is the reason why, guys, premium AP is my favorite ammunition type in the game as far as premium rounds go. Well, maybe except for Hash, but Hash is an exception. Oh, the snapshots for days. Nice spots, Grill. Um, hitting a lovely shot onto that dude as well. And it looks like my teammates are already just absolutely bombing through this side of the map here. I'm gonna go pick up a quick kill on the Hori. There we go. And let's get ready to rotate down onto the E100 and AMX50B, who are both in the open here. Uh, my spawn should be fine for a couple more minutes, but I think what I'm going to do is actually push from above. That way we can just start cross-firing out tanks like this 50B right away. And speak of the 50B, he wants to get HE max roll, doesn't he? Not quite max roll, but he does take a massive HE there. And, well, you actually did a pretty much a one-to-one -one trade there, dude. That was, uh, I guess, not terrible for him, all things considered. All right. So, E100 is now in the open. Let's aim for those fuel tanks, maybe. Nice, in the fuel tanks there. The TVP is returning around for me here, but uh, TVP doing TVP things, which is not a whole lot of interesting stuff. Um, so now he is pretty low in HP. There's the 50B there. Uh, the 50, sorry, not low in HP, but he's clipping his magazine. So let's put a quick kill shot into this dude. Nice, we know the yellow's position. You can see that the M60 is going for a bit of a flank here. Um, I don't really have shots on the M60. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing here... Oh, the grill's already dead. Oh my goodness, TVP. TVP, I was going to farm you, by the way. Why? Oh, why? Do you have to get yourself farmed? Oh, no. No, no. Stop it. Stop it, boys. Stop it. I need my farm. Thank you. <laughs> what a one-sided game. <laughs> Not even 3k. Not even 3k. I should have been more aggressive. Oh, I didn't think that their, uh, their grill and, and TVP were going to get killed so fast there. Um, wow. Okay. Well, at, at least we got a dub, guys. You win some, you lose some. And I will take the dub here. Still, the M4's gun worked beautifully there. I mean, that shot in the yo was pretty saucy, I will admit. The neighbors are holding it down as usual. Uh-huh. Hey, CJ, good to see you. <laughs> These are a game for a player with about 65% rate. <laughs> yeah, fun, I suppose. Uh, hey, man, if that's what they were like, then that's on them. Eh. All right. 3,140 damage. Wow. Great team there. <laughs> five players. Or is that four or five players doing like over 2,000 damage there? If you're not a 70%er, you suck. Oh, Dog can actually say that because when Dog was a blitzer, he got his account to 70%. Uh, darn, Dog. Dog, why do why you have to do the NA server like that? You know you just dissed on like half of the... 99% of the players on the NA server. <laughs> That's rude, Dog. <laughs> but as always, Dog, I know you're just memeing. Oi, 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 buddy. Yeah, please poke out sideways. See how that goes for you. Now, this tank cannot side scrape in the slightest. I'm just letting you know. So, that's a 268 over there. Or at least one of them. This VK chair is crossing. We eat him here. Me and the Z100 are just going to double hold this, I guess. Okay, I think that's a 268 or a Yag. So, that's the Yag's position. We know they have a 268 over here. Oh, he just broke something, I think. Okay. Thought maybe he's... Wait, so he is in the open? Wait, what? 
Hello? Wait, how did he pen that angle? Huh? Nah, that's a, that's a straight up scam. This is why I hate sidescaping in this tank. Also, case in point, why you should never take this vehicle to, a, to a, a flat ground frontline engagement where you're not hauled down. How did he pen from that angle? I was pulling around the corner there. What? Oh my goodness. This is why I hate uh, playing this tank on Canyon, uh, not Canyon, on this map when you're kind of stuck in a frontline engagement. It big zuck. This dude spot me up? Ooh, not yet. All right, let's at least get a shot of damage out here. Oh my gosh, he's not even gonna give me a shot, is he? He's straight up just side scraping it. And these players kind of are, uh... oh my gosh. Everyone's getting banned to a 60 TP. We're giving up all of our map control. I don't like that. Let's see if I can spot this VK behind us at least. This is not gonna be a high damage game for me in the slightest here. Not even slightly high. I can just tell. Sometimes you just know. Oh, speaking of T68s, but you have found one. And of course he hits that. What you gonna do now, buddy? Yeah, that's right. What you, what, what you gonna do now, buddy? You're dead. Hot, deserved. Zuck. All right. <laughs> I figured one of the T68s would be up there. Look at him, he's just breathing for me. Oh my gosh. Yes, tunnel, tunnel me harder there, buddy. Ah, take another one to the face. Deserved. I get my revenge on these two six eight. So it's a platoon of them too. Even better. All right. Well, that that game kind of blew just a little bit, you know, ever so slightly. All right. Quick shot to the VK. Ah, uh, this gun is not very snappy. That's my only problem with this take is it's too slow to take corner on this map. If you can take corner, you're gonna have a great time. Ah, uh, but it's just way too slow. And I'm glad I didn't cross. I probably would have been full health if I had tried crossing the corner there. To be honest. But the only issue is I can't really do anything. I mean, we're going to get the dub here because their team was so focused on just shooting me and that E100 in the mid that they just completely forgot that they have a flank that's exposed. So I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the dub. Um, wasn't the, the sauciest of battles, but hey, a win's a win. A win is a win. Excuse me. 113. Can you back up just a, a hair more, buddy? Just a hair more. Just a hair more. Thank you. Oh my gosh. E100. <laughs> I hate my life. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This tank is awful on flat ground engagements. Do not do it. I only went there to spot the crossing so our TDs could get the crossfire off. I wasn't planning on staying there all game. Um, but in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have even gone for a spotting run because our E100 was going there. The only problem is if I try and take my M4 somewhere else, and this happens all the time when I'm playing on this side of the map, and I try to take like a better position for my vehicle, what happens is... All of your allies follow you, and then you have no one spotting the crossing, and then it's just a terrible time once they take a corner, which is the only reason why I I really did take my M4 there, was just to make sure we can get those kind of early spots on the crossing. So if they do try crossing, they get nuked for it, or they get spotted and you do by TDs. Um, but if I had just, let's say, right off the bat, tried to take med site or something, E100 probably would have done the same, and we then we would have had no one spotting that crossing. But it's like, yeah. If you're in a good tank like game 100, that spot's not bad, but the M4 just cannot side scrape, so do not even try. I only did that to try and minimize my profile, but even then, it was not a great outcome, guys. It was not a great outcome. That game had the big, big zuck. All right, so I have a wild M6 Yo here. He has fired once. He has fired twice already. A wild concept pushing. Let's aim for that engine deck. <laughs> we hit those. Okay, so... It would appear in my books that the enemy team is a bit split up over here, which means, yay, engine deck shots for days. Let's go, let's back up a little bit. Lovely stuff. Um, ooh, there is a Yo now flanking us from behind. I am fairly certain of that. Yo taking two shots to the face here. He is not doing well. With the DPM of the E4s, I am sure that he's gonna die in a moment in time. All right, let's get ready to put a quick shot to this concept. Unfortunately, he barely backs up in time there. But I mean, what is this poor soul gonna do now? He, he can't really do anything. I'm gonna get ready to start dealing with this 113 here. Back of the turret, 460 damage, good stuff. Yeah, man, this tank is so much more pleasant to play haul down, I'm telling you. Trying to play this tank aggressively just makes you suffer way too much. Uh, or on flat ground is what I meant. Hey, come on, poke me, buddy. Feeling they have a whole lot of tanks around this corner. But you know what? 
I want some more damage on this fool. So, one quick shell onto this man's. So that's where the crossfire is coming from. Bashatheon on that flank. Not really sure where the AMX, uh, not the AMX, the 4005 is at. But we do know where the Bashatheon's at, so that's always good news. Um, mm, oh, that's where the 4005 went. Interesting play, Mr. 4005 there, buddy. Shooting HE at me. I don't know about that, dude. Not the, not, not the, not the brightest play you're about to make, especially with the E4 nukes inbound. Speaking of E4 nukes, here's the Bash Yawn. 600 max roll, that's 3,500 damage dealt so far. Please, whoever is sitting on the cap, please, for, for goodness sake, do not cap the base. So we can get some extra damage farm out here. Let's wait for the tungsten. Worth it for the tungsten. Nice, I think he's fired three times. We're about to fire a fourth time here. All right, four times, I believe. No, dude, <laughs> oh, my damage. Uh, it's okay, we got 4k out. Not a bad game, there we go. Once again, you get this tank into more of a haul down position where you can just start using that kind of alpha to peak tanks, you're gonna have a good time. Uh, luckily for me as well, their team was not the brightest. Imagine not making a tank look sus. <laughs> Hey, yo, great question. Oh boy, another stream. Hey. <laughs> 4,000 damage dealt. Okay. I kind of want to get an ace in this tank, though, at least. But yeah, so far, I've been really liking the M4, man. We've only had like one bad game, and it was that. Uh, that canal game. But that was just because I put myself into a bad position and nothing else. Not really the tank's fault. Sometimes I'm a little too focused on map control and stuff, and. It does cause me to lose damage because I don't go to instantly what I find to be the best farm position sometimes because I'm like, oh, it's more important if my team had those early spots. But, um, yeah, we won't worry too much about it. Let's just jump into the next game. We're going to, obviously, we're going to go C, this map. I, I've always liked going C on this map. If possible, CB, I've always said, is the, you know, the best position you could take on a map like this. So I'm going to full send it for the C cap right off the bat. And usually I would spot the crossing from this middle area. I might just go full on in right off the bat. I mean, I do have the support. I got Fort LA sitting in the river and spawn trying to shoot into the M60. And why does that not surprise me in the slightest? Why does that just straight up not surprise me in the slightest that four of my allies are just sitting in Narnia? Okay, I don't know if they have a 183 back here, so I'll just stick a blind shot. Okay, no one spotted me up just yet. So that's always good news. All right, there's a Hori back here. I don't think he's going to spot me until it's too late. Okay, okay. Let's pop the tungsten shells here. 540 damage in him. We're going to back up in case that 183 gets any bright ideas. I don't know where the 183 is positioned. That's why he could be back by the house for all I know. Um, premium AP on the on the hover. He's probably just going to butter my haul. Oh, he shot AP standard, but he had my mantlet anyways. All right, another shell to the hori there. Mm, looks like we're about to get some nice crossfires in from the mid here. Can't quite shoot the M60 from back here, so I'm just going to hold my shot for now. Um, I7. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? Uh, win rate or damage? Generally speaking, I'm a bit of a, a damage farmer, um, but it kind of depends. If I'm struggling to win in a vehicle for like five consecutive games, then I'm definitely going for damage. I mean, win rate, <laughs> not damage, win rate. I know there is a sacrifice for either damage or win rate when you have enough crafts to do either. Oh, I thought you were asking me if, if I would go for win rate or damage. Come on, I7, what you doing, buddy? I probably should push off if I want damage here, but I know this I7 has to back up eventually. Oh, come on, IS-7. Come on, buddy. Are you going to sit here all game? I guess the IS-7 going to sit there all game. I'm wasting my time then. I'm just going to push in elsewhere. So they have a Kronwagen holding the back of their spawn for now. Interesting indeed. This IS-7 has a bit of a crossfire from where he is positioned. However, not the worst case scenario in the world. Because I will be here to go haul down if these... Let's try and where did he even pen? Oh my gosh, he shot under my mantlet by accident. I love this game. 90 damage from this dude. So it seems like my allies, uh, he can very easily hit my hatch from there. I'm gonna have to angle up my turret a little bit here. Okay, let's focus the E3 here. Put shot underneath this tank there. Um, realistically, I think the safer play for me to do right now, especially with this I7 just looking at me, is to cross a little bit to the left here along with our 62A. 
My teammates are all just sitting in Narnia. This is about worst case scenario as I can get. I didn't think my team was gonna be this bad. Okay, quick shell towards this dude. Can't quite too much. The Sheridan's coming in for a clear on this man's here. Now I find myself in a one versus two mini situation. All right, quick shot to my man's here. What I'm gonna do now is pull across and down, at least so I can escape this cron for a moment. Okay. It's just game over at this point, man. It's just straight up game over. This team... I mean, I knew it was game over when I saw everyone sitting in a river back here. And the best part is they just sat there, three of the, four of these dudes just sat here all game long. And we didn't have anyone holding B. That game was just screwed. <laughs> C's usually fine as long as your, uh, as long as your allies are not sitting in a river and spawn for two minutes straight. And then, yeah, giving up all of the middle map control there. Like, holy smokes, that team was just, <laughs> it doesn't get much worse than this, man. Look, look, look at these dude. Look at this dude. They literally let an IS-7 sit up there all game long for free. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that team is just terrible. Poor fan is getting the bad teams. I mean, that's to be expected. I'm not even too surprised nowadays by just terrible teams consistently. I shouldn't have pushed in. I should have gone back to our spawn. But I, at the point, at that time, I honestly thought our team was going to be fine. I mean, I did 3,500 damage there. Like, I still did fine in the end. The tank did great. But, like, oh my god. Mia games crazy over here. What's with the... What is with the TD platoons on my teams? They get an IS-7 and an M60, and I get a platoon of tank destroyers that decide to, uh... Do nothing. <laughs> Improve your mechanical skills through 45 feet price rent. Having good map awareness gets you to 65 mastering patterns and talents as a game gets you beyond. Pretty much. I'd say that sounds about right. Hello, Mazist. I know! Let's reach the 100 like mark, guys. We're so close right now. Do like, smash that like button. Show some support. Because I'm suffering from these teams right now. <laughs> Daddy Mazist, we're like, Daddy Hot is. Ayo! Sus! <laughs> Enough simpery. Go back to the abyss. Ugh. Corbin. Sus, bro. I know. Very sus. Okay, I'm going. Do I want to go heavy side? Yeah. Screw it. I'm going to go heavy side. Do I want to go heavy side? I won't be able to go hold down. But eh, I don't really want to face a bunch of TDs on the med side. Let's go heavy side it is. <laughs> Harassment. Yes, how could you? How could you do this to me? How could you do this to me? Oh. Wow, I just shot a rock wall. Look how talented I am, guys. I am simply the best at this game. Worship me. Okay. Um, let's see what we got here. Hello? Hello, anyone home? Hello? Hello? <laughs> so their team is all going med side or just chilling hardcore and spawn. One of the two. I'm really scared to overextend here because I know their team is... Chilling hardcore and spawn. I know what happens if I overextend here. Ooh, 183 already spotted. 550 to you. Good sir. Hope you enjoy. Yep, that's why I immediately pulled into cover there. I really didn't want to feel a 268 shell for free. Ah! You know what? That could have been way, way worse, all things considered. <laughs> uh, buddy, if I take a shot from here, I'm going to be so mad at you. Okay. We Valley DS over here is uh, making a play on the 57. I think I can push from the left. I mean, on the cron, not the 57. Can I can start pressuring a little bit from the left side here. Maybe not too much. Do you have to keep an eye on what those tank destroyers are doing for the time being? But as of right now, I think I do see a golden opportunity, and I'm gonna go definitely take it. Quick shot to this dude. We'll just have to watch that left side. Case in point, Mr. Conqueror pushing back here. Mr. Conqueror has now driven into a wall very successfully. Put a 600 max roll to him there. We are going to keep watching out for crossfires, but at the same time, this Kron, we should be able to kill him here in just a moment. I'm not going to scope in for the kill shot here. That way, well, I decided to in the end. That way, if the 183 starts blocking, I can immediately just rotate around, and I won't have to, like, scope out to turn my turret faster. Because if you didn't realize, you, you your turret turns, like, I guess a little bit slower when you're scoped in. Ay, ay, ay. 
I was just trying to demonstrate some mechanics of the game and I almost screwed myself there. That would have been a big suck. Okay, let's go back for this type. We got the mobilities, boys. We got the mobilities to do it. Let's go for it. Alright, premier AP shell. Boom, quick shot into this dude. He's gonna be able to heat my upper plate unless he chooses not to shoot heat, in which case, lovely stuff. Um, type 71 has more horsepower than me, or he's heavier than me. One of the two. Uh, what? I do love me a Type 71's hatch, man. Okay, yep. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you're you're not getting baited this hard, buddy. You are not getting baited this... You had one job. You had one job. You stinky 183. One job, by the way. Okay, the Type 71 has officially been bullied. Mission accomplished. Progress onwards to the farm. Um... I guess the 83 gave me an extra shot of damage, so maybe I should just not be mad at him for that. Hello, Projetto. Ooh, 268, I know, you're, I know you're waiting for me. I know you're waiting. I know you're waiting. I can smell it in the air. Go for it, buddy. I know you're still there. You're still there somewhere. Oh, he's not there. He is elsewhere. How interesting is that? Okay, I think the 183 had fired there. Oh my gosh, I was trying to sneak a shell in with my tungsten before it's too late. Holy smokes, I might be throwing this game. It's actually way closer than I had anticipated. Here we can get nice and hold down here if that 268 tries pushing it on me. Uh, STB, do watch for the crossfires, buddy. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, you don't hit those. Of course he does. Okay, I got support from this dude here. So if this 183 does decide to peek me, I can probably outplay him a little bit. Very nice indeed. Hey, right, Mr. T68, you don't hit those. Oh, he HE'd. Good shots by the T68 there. But hopefully our T68 should have the dub there. I almost threw that game, but honestly, I thought my team was just, like wrecking them, and then I didn't realize. Oh wait, actually, they are low-key kind of throwing. Go, 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 go! Don't, don't, don't stop. You're gonna get too much distance between you. Just have a repair kit on the hand, buddy. What are you? Uh, now he can drive forward even faster than. He's gonna take it. Holy mother of terrible players. What are you thinking? Dude, just pull in front of him and shoot him. He can't outrun you in reverse. And he's dead. Watch. He's gonna take you all into reverse. Why are players so garbage at this game? Dude! How do you throw that? <laughs> I did 5,000 damage. Oh my gosh. That 66 wasn't even that good. It's just like, holy... 50%? Yeah, no. More like 42%. Let's see what his tier 10 stats are. Told you guys. 37% went into 268. 47, 47. Uh... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not a genuine 50%er. In tier 10, he's a 30%er. And now it all makes sense. Dude, their 268 is reversing. You have 1400 hit points. He has 600 HP. Or no, 400 HP. He's reversing. You're driving forward. You have all the momentum advantage on your side. And then you stop. You turn around. You let yourself get max rolled. Even though you shot before him, because you, you got baited into shooting him when all you had to do was just YOLO him. Like, everything you could do wrong that game... Uh, I swear, some of these some of these dudes actually try to lose. There's no way you could be that bad. <sighs> if you hadn't bumped me, maybe, maybe I would have been able to uh, aim in in time there. But thank you very much for kinda bumping up my reticle a little bit too much there, buddy. Now that I know where their 183 is, I'm going to hook her right here. All right, well, not too much I can do about that game, so let's just move onwards. I played such a good game there, too, but my allies were just, oh, so bad. Wow, 57 spotted. Nice. Not even a tungsten shot, but I'll take 505 there. Um, now the Type 71 thinks he can just YOLO in for free, so that's, that's genuinely adorable. 519 here. Now, luckily for me, well, this Type 71 is low-key just kind of throwing his tank away here. 
416 to him. Once again, Type 71 showing their innate ability to just suck. Um, but same with my team. Same with my team. I have a 268 pushing it on me here soon. I'm just gonna have to wait it out. I just hope that the 183 doesn't flank me from behind. What is, what is my 2 and 5B doing? That's my that's my question right now. Let's track this dude a little bit here. We do unfortunately end up taking one. Allies, I can see the mini map. You are all just in this vicinity. What on earth could you possibly be doing right now to not be providing me with the perfect amount of cover fire in this scenario? Holy smokes at the background to the other side. All right, I'm sure Diego Sanchez, if he uh, tries yellowing me here, he'll get nuked for it, right guys? Right, guys? Yeah, that's what you get for tunneling me, boy. Die. Okay, so... Amazing allies t taking two billion years, even though they're all here. All of them are there. Taking two billion years to support me there. As as per usual with this with this game. I'm too scared to push with that 183 unspotted on this side. Wait, you're not gonna go pushing? You should. Let's see which way is that 183. He's just pre aiming. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Let's pick up a kill on them together. Good stuff, buddy. All right. I know that 4005 could very likely be flanking us right now, so I'm going to turn around in case I have to make a quick reverso here. 47 fired once. 405 fired once here. Let's track them in place. And let's hope we can just get one ricochet. Nah. Oh, wow. Look. Our. Heavy Tank finally decides to push in, like, two minutes after their whole team had yoloed me. Wow, if only you'd done that earlier, I could still be alive right now and you would have a chance of winning this, but, uh... Oh my gosh, every just terrible team possible right now. Look where a one to one died. Dude just gave up on holding the flank, by the way. He was scared to fight a bat chat in a one versus one. <laughs> that if our IS-7 had pushed up and helped us, you know, there's just so much that could have made this game a win. But as far as team goes... Holy smokes, it's terrible. It literally took the attention of like half their team there. Ali still took 20 years to actually make her play. Well, we did 3-to-FK. Maybe I should have just sat back and sniped. So I guess that's the player. 2 and 5 e ending up with 3 shots of damage there. And 2 and 3 and 2 and... Alright, 7 to 3. 46%. Impressive. Impressive work there, buddies. Impressive. Maybe... Here's just a tip. Maybe... Don't all sit in spawn, staring at hold down tanks you can't shoot, and help your heavy tank that went forward to take their attention and spot them for you so you can push up and support them. That's just, that's just, just a little tip. Just a little tip. You know, your, your IS-7 is much more accurate from 10 meters away than 200 meters away. <laughs> I think we're going to hate Nah, this is literally just how things are in this game nowadays like you cannot consistently win in my opinion unless you're platooning in, in in the modern in the modern era or if you're just playing like the most busted broken tier 10s at least in tier 10 because the teams are just super bad Ooh, that was a very perfect blind shot i hope one of them hit now back to the topic of the m4 mle we're gonna go for the hill here and hopes are that their team does as well and of course, we have 777 in the premium tank going completely town side by himself, which does not make me very confident of his abilities there. Put a quick shell towards the Projeto. Sadly, that one does not go through. However, the Projeto is also Omega Overextended. Um, it does feel like... The Projeto being really aggressive. I don't want to get retracked, so I'm just going to pull forward a little bit here. Very good. Let's pop the adrenaline just in case we can get an extra shell onto this dude or the E5 here. 550 into this dude. Good stuff. So, um, yeah. Is that both 57s? No, 57 and Minotauro are in the town. Good to know. Let's see. Will anyone else become my victim here? Rogetta wants to take another one to the face, so let's put another shell onto him. This is one of the best positions in this on this side of the map, in my opinion. You can do so many incredible things from here, especially if you have a little bit of gun depression, man. A little bit of gun depression works wonders. Wow, 385. I think that might be close to a minimum roll in this tank, uh, unless I am mistaken. 385 does seem rather low for a vehicle of this of this caliber. Uh, anyhow, my allies are all stuck on this corner here with no one spotting the crossing, so I'm going to do my best to spot below us. 
his intuition tells me we are getting flanked soon here. Didn't have the gun depression there. While this tank does have eight degrees of gun depression, it also has a really tall profile, so it can feel a little awkward, even though it has eight, which is admittedly not bad. Okay. So, here is my assumption for this battle. Basically what I'm thinking right now. Um, this Kranwagen just straight up needs to die here. Or, no, he has a 57 supporting him. I didn't realize there's a 57 on the front line here. We're just gonna pull straight back from him. But I am so dead here anyways, thanks to my allies just being... Ah, oh, I forgot there was a 57 here. That was, that was just a misplay on my part. Nothing else to it. Straight up misplay. I can't even hold here, man. Unless I was the backup to this Jaeger's position. Dunkston. Mr. Yag, I believe in you, buddy. I have faith in you. To cover me from all, all sorts of nasty things here. One more shot, please. At least. Minotaur kills me. Once, once again, once again. Look where our T1 LT died. He yoloed into their spawn and died. Our object yells in the town by himself and dies. None of my allies pressured the top when, when we had an advantage there and I couldn't really push in there. I mean, I don't think there was anything I could do that game. I literally couldn't do anything there. My, my whole team goes into this one little pocket. And then we had two Pepegas just insta YOLO and die. And somehow this dude still does better than half the team. And zero damage and 100 damage. Oh boy. Well, aye, aye, aye. At this point, I'm tempted to straight up just put same control mode on and play Supremacy. Um, mobile queue time is a little longer. <laughs> but I really want to change up the teams I'm getting right now. Because there is like nothing I can do about this. My um, my team was just uh, very yikers there. But the only issue, I guess I can just re-chat while I wait. <laughs> and here's a question. Would you support skill-based matchmaking? Nothing crazy, but a separate, complete, uh, competent players from the complete potatoes. They ruined the game for me. Absolutely not. I am actually completely avid on making matchmaking as random as possible. Because... I think a lot of the good players can instantly notice this, that when Wargaming implemented their semi-skill matchmaking a few uh, few updates ago, that's when teams just got exponentially just worse. So I would say keep matchmaking as random as possible, like it was for seven years, seven, eight, eight years. Just keep matchmaking random. Uh, for random battles, which is the whole point of random games, and only focus on trying to roughly balance out tanks. One, it does not ruin your queue time that way, because the queue times also got longer. Um, and two, I just feel like the more random the teams are, the actually more balanced they end up being, versus Wargaming intentionally putting, like, trying to balance it out a little bit. It just makes for more one-sided games than ever, uh, in the last six months especially so that's my own personal opinion on matchmaking i just think we're going to just stop touching it and just leave it how it was for eight years where it's just like you barely do anything with it and it was fine <laughs> actually back when i was playing the game well initially there was no balancing of tiers there was no balancing of tank classes we're going just threw everything in randomly and you you just had to play with it and honestly those were good days i actually really enjoyed those days as, as insane as it may sound to many of you. Oh my goodness. What are you doing there, buddy? Yeah, take 520 to the face. I, he actually outrolled me. Okay. Okay, so for this battle, we are now playing in the mobile queue. So I'm hoping it's a little bit better, a little more bearable. At least that's that's the dream. That's only a matter of time before this 183 pushes out here. I still have tungsten shells activated. So let's put a quick shell into this dude. Lovely. It's a thousand damage dealt already. My teammates are kind of capping. We don't really have a whole lot in terms of map control here. But uh, I'll see what I can do from back here. All right. 183. I don't know if he's going to pull forward or backwards yet. What I do know is this Yo is definitely pulling forwards here for resets on the cap. So I'm just going to take it easy for now. What's, what's, on my, what's covering my rear? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely. Okay. You know what? No, we can just straight up back up at this point. I, I, I realize my teammates are pushing in from the side. I could probably take advantage of that. I doubt that this Yo is just going to be able to push in on me for free here. So, let's see. Can we HE aside? Not really. Let's just put an AP shell into him there. 500 damage. Go pull forward a little bit here. 
Hopefully this dude gets a bit distracted by the Waffenträger. What well, does look like I have a 183 Surf just kind of yoloing me here. I'm going to put another shell to this dude. And we're going to back up. 183 shoot him. Thank you. <laughs> this is why you just pay attention to what your allies are doing. And you capitalize on that. I'm so sorry to make the, 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 the Waffenträger there, the meat shield. But it had to happen. It had to happen, guys. <laughs> I it's much it's much more reliable for me to keep my HP than a Waffenträger that I have no clue how he's gonna perform. Oh, terrible shot! Terrible shot! I was trying to go for the snapshot track there. It's okay. I have a WZ light tank here. Wait, why am I playing so passively? At this point, I'm just wasting my time. Nice. Let's put on that adrenaline. Just England the hall a little bit here. Lovely stuff. And, well, we will get about 3,700 3, or so damage out here, hopefully. There we go. Just on a 3,800? I'll take it. Ah, that was better. <laughs> Seems like this game is super fun for you, too. Ah, it's lovely! Lovely! That's why game modes exist. Also, Wargaming, stop putting game modes every single week, I swear. <laughs> nah, uh, I know of Wargaming changing the match frame. They only made it so you can get Unsportion Life players. But not really changing the matching itself. Mm, maybe I misread the notes from way back in the day. <laughs> the main problem is that the battles are less than two minutes. Yes, I would agree with you there, Doodles. Actually, very much so. The, the problem with the game right now is that every single battle is like a 7-1 sweep. Case in point, last game was over in three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why, though. It's like... It wasn't as steamrolly a year or two ago, um, so there, there has to be some kind of reason for it. I just don't like steamroll games, whether it's my team steamrolling the enemy or the enemy team steamrolling my team. It, it's just not fun gameplay when it's 7-0, 7-1 in two and a half minutes or sometimes even less than two minutes. And it's like, oh, the whole enemy team's dead. Wow, that was such a fun battle. Um, you know, there's no, like, competitiveness to that. It's just, like, one team is just bonking the other. So, I think the, I think kind of, like, the main issue, though, is just kind of just, I don't know. Players don't play for map control as much as they used to. And a lot of the, a lot of times they're just YOLOing, like, sending it all onto one side. Uh, and you can really notice how that's kind of changed how the game feels sometimes. Because, like, you'll just see, oh, and there are six tanks pushing them together into one corner when they don't need to. Ah. Uh, Okay, let me think for a moment here. They have double 268s, same platoon, or is that a different platoon of them? I think that's a different platoon of 268s. I think it's the same platoon. I'm a bit nervous on pushing up here, but then again, I do have a TVP with me. Oh, the 50B completely gave up on holding that position. My only concern is we do know they have 268s all just kind of just chilling in the back of the map right now, somewhere. Okay, let's try not show too much of the side of my turret there. Lovely stuff. There's the 50B. He's kind of trying to push up here. It's not really working out for him all too well. Um, I do want to be conscious of what those 268s are doing for now. As of right now, let's put a quick shot to this 113. As of right now, they could be anywhere. So that's obviously a little, a little bit concerning. All right, Mr. 60TP is very much in the open here. Bring him AP round just to guarantee the pen there. Hopefully me and the other 60 TP can start cross firing this dude out pretty soon. Alright, I think our 60 TP has just fired his gun off here. Um, I could get a little more aggressive on this side because it looks like my teammates are already losing our spawn. That's where the 268s are. That was stupid of me not to notice that sooner. Alright, let's pick up the kill shot onto this dude. And now keep the pressure up. We gotta keep the pressure up while we have a somewhat momentum on this side. The 113 should be our next victim here. I didn't care. I was taking it just for precautious reasons. Okay. I think the other 268 has to be back in as well. Oh, nice. Okay. We should win. We have three, like, full HP heavy ticks here. That's more than enough HP to deal with whatever they send our way. Okay. The only problem is the KPZ-50. Where is he at? That's where he's at. Oh, okay. There's one 268. Okay. 515 in him there. Uh, where's Ice Force? Ice Force pushing up a little bit here. The only problem is our 60, t 60 TB should be fine. I'm gonna go back and clear him. The 268 can't really escape us. This dude can just run around and be super annoying. 
So I'm gonna see if I can help clear him out with the uh, assistance of an ally here, so. All right, KBZ. Oh, wow, I thought for sure it had an he rear. That was silly of me, how silly indeed. All right, hopefully with a high roll. I just threw so much damage there, man. Well, like 300, 250-ish or so damage. I genuinely thought you could HE the comp fencer's rear. I guess I was wrong. The more you know. Well, then again, I don't know the M4's HE pen. Maybe it's like on a TD you can. <laughs> Anyways, let's go kill this 268 while we can. There he is, sitting in a ditch. Now this one we can HE. Oh yes! The damage is saved! <laughs> 755 HE damage, by the way. Uh, buddy, what, are you, what is your plan? Oh no! <laughs> I just screwed my own damage at the end of the game there because he HE'd himself for half of his remaining hit points. No! How could I do this to myself? I should have just pulled back so he wouldn't HE me. Um, yeah, no, good job, 60 TP. You had a good game. Wow, we got a win. I'll happily take that. A pretty guess is because we're, he's making tanks more and more deadly rather than balancing. So when you have a player make a mistake, the dive before you can even make a difference. I mean, it could be a mixture of a lot of things. Definitely, I think the meta currently is not very good <laughs> for for um, players that aren't, aren't very good at the game. Um, I think the I probably the most noob friendly meta and the least one sided meta is when we're gaming initially give the heavy tanks their mega buff, their mega buffs uh, in tier ten, and like it was annoying because it was heavy tank spam. But my goodness, could you capitalize that on in light tanks and meds? That's when lights and meds, in my opinion, were actually the most deadly. Oh, it's DMG. A wild DMG has appeared. Anyways, we're going to spot the crossing right off the bat. We're on good old Fort Despair. Let's see what we can find here. Um, so far, no one. Be a little careful because sometimes 268s like to sit in like that bush or something. Uh, so far, we still have spotted no one. The M4's gun handling ain't quite good enough to hit that. <laughs> that went like very bottom of my reticle, but then again, this tank isn't the most accurate in the first place, so not super shocked. All right, let's see. I'm gonna wait here for a moment, see if this STB pokes up again. We very well could, because uh, we are. I think we're gonna lose our spawn, <laughs> funnily enough. Just like they're probably gonna lose their spawn soon enough here. So let's wait to see if this STB does a little boo-boo, or maybe just start counter pushing from behind. Holy gun is just not good at snapshotting. Okay, that's four tanks or so back there. What are you doing here, buddy? All right, we should have time to hit at least two tungsten shells on this 57 here. Hello, that's literally his side there, guys. I, I, I don't get it, Wargaming. How does that tungsten shell not pen? Bruh. 57 heavies are so annoying to deal with, I swear. Is it just us three? Kinda, but also this 57's on a long reload, so it's pretty much shot over here. Bounce this dude's HE. Here's what I'm actually gonna have to do here. I really did want to push this side, but in, in retrospect, my allies are just throwing their tanks away for free. Okay, that was definitely lag. What the heck? When I hit my fire button, it was like half a second before it even like registered anything. Oh boy, what is this team doing here? There we go. That's the one that hits. So, time to play some defense, I think. Sheridan. Say so it's still kind of looking my way, but maybe not enough to really be an issue. I'm gonna take the shot just in case. Dang, it was a hit too. Okay. Here's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to keep back up even further than this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be the lone, lone wolf holding our spawn basically at this point. Hmm. Shot there, buddy. I am still spotted up very likely. Now the good news is we can get nice and up close and personal over here. Well, I'm still a bit worried about my 
right side. Let's see if this STV is still here. He is not. Where's 27 at? Okay, I'm just gonna pray to the tungsten shells that the shot high rolls. 10 HP, huh? Nice. Okay. Well, that could be a whole lot worse. Now we have the 57 and the Sheridan in the crossfire here. Okay, don't back up, buddy. No, you're supposed to pull forward there. Oh man, I do not have a lot of allies left, huh? Right. Jason Tate, your luck has run out, buddy. Where's the biggest defensive position I could take right now? Dang, 57 spotted me over that ridge. That's dumb. Your blessed RNG is also over now, buddy. Hmm. I don't know the HP of the Kron. That's the problem. Too much. Too much HP is what's the problem here. Holy gosh. This, that game was a straight up scam to the RNG, dude. How many of those shots that should have hit just went to nowhere? Like, my gosh, the gun hated me that game. That game should have been a win. Uh, then again, our Sheridan does zero. Our Confenser does two shots. Those were our tanks that were holding the flank, by the way. They did 600 between two of them. Instead of taking your Sheridan or Confenser to the corner where you can crossfire tanks out and be secure, they just sit in and counter cap whole game and die. I don't really get what my team was doing there, but... Ah, well, next game. Let's think about how we want to do this one, guys. You know, I'm not usually aggressive in the ditch, but maybe for once I will be. Because I see they have a medium take advantage here. So maybe, maybe I can pull off a bit, a bit more aggressive ditch play here. Our chief will can't be the victim if they do all pull up around here. All right, quick shell into this dude's tracks here. Nice man to track the Minotauro there. Not usually too aggressive in the ditch, which is why I was being a little bit more cautious here. Alright, in case someone else is there, I'll stick a blind shot. They do have tanks on the flank, it looks like. I'm not sure where the 183's positioning is, so let's just wait a moment. And hope that we can get a chieftain. Chieftain, you're wasting your time, buddy. This is not what you actually want to do. Ooh. Never mind, it very much is what you want to do here. Hello, gun. Hello, gun. Just how far are you gonna make that shot land from where I wanted it to go? All right, quick shot to this dude. I'm willing to trick the trade. A Kron is a dangerous tank if left to hold there. So a one-to-one -one trade's gonna win. Is gonna, I'm gonna be the winner of that trade anyways. So um, 520 to him there. Good stuff. Let's see, let's see. We are going to definitely lose med side. That's my only concern with this battle. It's like we're spending all this time on heavy side here. But we're going to lose med side in the end. Um, there's no way we don't. Okay, for the ones who ones like ye, give me that. Got a shelter the 183 there. Oh, nice. Our 1 to one's going to kill their 183. Now we can just hold here. Now we'll have the map control to just hold. Okay, that's fine by me, to be fair. That's kind of what I was hoping for, actually. So let's just try not to get crossfired out in our hatch here. Although, this IS-4 is being rather aggressive, so let's try and take advantage of that a little bit. Oh, of course he hits that. Mr. Kronwagen, what are you doing, buddy? We did lose a little bit of HP there, but you know what? Could be a whole lot worse. Another shell to this dude. If I angle my tank up a little bit here, I should hopefully be safe from the Sheridans. Let's probably put another shell into their Kron. Nope. Nope. Now my ammo's out. Okay, my team should be fine on that side. I think we did good enough there. I don't really like working in the ditch for this spe specific reason, but I knew our meds were not going to be able to hold that front line on A, and they made a quick rotation out, which is actually a really good play by them. So, 
Are you still trying to shoot me, dude? Like, seriously? <laughs> you know, there's other tanks in this game, right? Yeah, it's 3,700 damage dealt. The TVP is what was shooting me at ACAP. The Sheridan, I know, is somewhere back here. It's my only concern about overextending here. The one one's on our left. So, we got some pretty good information on where their team is at. Okay, that would be the TVP. And we could very easily throw this if we are not cautious. So, I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful with where I my tank. Okay, there's the one to one He spotted me, probably. Mm-hmm. To be expected. My team does have cap. I have a Minotauro to spot off the right hand side of things if it gets messy. Finally, can fix my MRAC. Okay, that dude's gonna spot their spawn. Oh, interesting. He spots the TVP on rotation. Let's load up a tungsten shell here for this dude. HE maybe? 730 HE, oh that is spicy. See when this gun works, it works hard, dude. <laughs> when it when it when it wants to kick some some bute, it will do it. No problem. We're gonna cap out, so wait, wait, I got four, three, two, one. Nice. Where's the AFK? Oh, he's definitely AFK. Don't kill him, Minotaro. No, we're gonna cap out before I can get another shot damage in here. Oh wait, yes, one more. Let's go. <laughs> nice. We got good fun out of there. Not bad. We were able to get five and a half thousand damage. Maybe an ace. I think it's probably gonna be a first because I didn't really do all that much. Sadly. What the heck? What? No. Is my charger busted? Wait, hold up, guys. I, I'm sorry. I gotta do an experiment here. <gasps> Is my charger broken? Oh. Hold up. I think my charger's broken. Let me go see if it's plugged in. Just give me a second. I am so sorry. I can't, uh, I can't have my battery dying on me. <laughs> one moment. One, one, one moment here. Just, just give your boy a second. So it seems my adapter cord died over, over, <laughs> it seems my adapter cord have died. Um, I need to put the same low power mode off because that drops my FPS and I cannot play on low FPS. Kills my eyes. Okay. Hopefully, gosh, hopefully it's just long enough here. Okay, it's charging now. <gasps> We're back. We should be back. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I am most sorry about that. Dang, I didn't get an ace. That that annoys me. Oh, come on. Reconnect. Is that, uh, there we go. I was going to say, it says it's screen sharing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those four losses in the M4 were so sad. All right. <laughs> right in the stream time. <laughs> time to downvote for the charger time. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, I will need to... I, the reason I know that it's the power outlet that's not working is... I didn't realize, but all the LED um, like backlighting around my desk, which is attached to the same outlet there, is off. So... I might need to check out if that extension cord is still good. You mean the cat? Bobby is tank driver in M4. She is nicer, <laughs> nicer than H, nicer than HRF. Hey, that's just mean. Thanks for 100 likes, by the way, guys. Do appreciate it. <laughs> ah, and this is why playing on the NA server in mobile queues is rough because you are sitting here for a millennium to get a pub battle. Because everyone, I guess we're half the server now, plays on PC. It's kind of sad. 
<laughs> Mobile players are a dying breed. This tank won't meet your expectations. Uh, what, the M4? Actually, it has met my expectations, and even with some pretty diabolical teams that I've had to face tonight, it has done a more than sufficient job of holding its own. Like, even with really bad teams, we're still able to pretty consistently pull about 3,500 out. Okay. Let's get ready to jump back into it. Lovely, Normandy, it is a good map. Let's see if we can work the middle lane here. They have a Sheridan and an STB. Uh, Ice for 60 TP, E5, VK72. Um, except for the VK72, all those are annoying to deal with fall down tanks. Thoughts on AMX30B. Uh, thank you for, very much, AMX30B, for the donation. I think it's an okay tank. Um, I enjoy it because it's really speedy, but it, it certainly... It certainly needs a buff sooner than later. What? Hello, gun handling. <laughs> All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nice, at least that one hits. Nice try, STB. Uh-huh. Just keep shitting there, buddy. See what happens. Okay. So, STB getting really aggressive again. Oh, I swear, this gun! This gun can be so troll sometimes. It's like, yes, let's just not hit near where I'm aiming at. It's okay, buddy. I'm gonna act like I'm not looking at this dude. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we got? And then we hit that! <laughs> and then we hit that one! Oh my gosh, I can't even with this tank. Anyways, the enemy team are really YOLOing hardcore up top, so we need to clear out this right side here very, very shortly. Aha! Finally! Hitting that STB one. Took me enough tries. Um... We need to clear out the 60 TB and the Sheridan here, and then we'll have to back up as quickly as possible here um, in, in a moment's time, just because the enemy team have so much map control on the right side. Another ricochet, good stuff. Our, our TVP, oh, TVP doing the classic TV. He's doing the thing, guys. He's doing the thing with the TVP where they just yellow in. Um, now it's time to reverse, though. We do have an AFK, sadly, but quick shot to the E5. This is a lovely map for the M4, and as long as you're positioning yourself intelligently, um, you will not have any issues. So, STB is picking a jump across the map here, which is probably the smarter play for him to make, all things considered, rather than sitting in the open to farm an AFK, like Mr. T-125 here. Uh, 268 is close to being dead, but... Wow, this E5 really wants the AFK, don't he? He's like, I hate this T-100 LT. He has personally offended my family. <gasps> the T-100 LT woke up! He actually woke up. Wow. Impressive. Alright, uh, Tungsten. 555 damage into this dude. Let's wait, their E5 and STB are out of the fight. This is a good opportunity to start picking up clears on things like this VK-72 here. So, I'm gonna do everything in my power. To make sure we pick up, okay, TBP should have him. Nice, IS-4. Uh, excuse me. Allies, please stop blocking all my shots there. 560 damage onto this dude. What I'm probably gonna end up doing here is going back to the mid-ridge. To start dealing with this STB-1 here. Because he's going to be a legitimate problem. Or, or the E5, maybe. Maybe the E5 here is better. I'm going to just pressure this E5 out because my allies are going to get overrun here soon. Oh, nice. I had support from the E6 here. Okay, I'll have a kill on this E5 here in just a moment. Nice. E6, stay safe. Stay safe, buddy. Stay safe, buddy. Buddy, pull down, pull down, pull down. I'll cover your side. I'll cover your side. I'll cover your side for as long as possible. Even with its high DPM, I should have enough HP here to deal with an STB-1. Nice. Good work by the E6. I tried to keep the poor dude alive, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Okay, this one actually might be an ace, guys. Maybe. I think we played that well. You know what? I'm gonna be the first to say it, guys. I'm gonna be the first to say it. <laughs> The 200 LT that was AFK was clutch. He baited the E5 and the STB to run to Narnia, which gave me three shots into their E5, one shot into their STB eventually, basically. Like, <laughs> 6,200 damage dealt. Finally, an ace. Well, back to back, 5.5 and 6,000 damage games. Not too shabby. Um, if I say so myself, Normandy is a great map for this tank, though. So, I will happily take that. Now I don't feel like such a terrible player after those last couple of games. String fatness is sus? What do you mean, sus? 
AFK clutch, GG Madness. I know, right? AFK with the clutch, dude. He was the biggest bait. And that's what we like. <laughs> What's your opinion on this tank so far? I really like it. I think it's really important, though, for players that consider this vehicle because you know what you're getting yourself into. There's a lot of really good things about this tank, but at the same time, there are also some pretty big issues you have to put up with. Uh, but if you know if you know how to position your tank well, for the most part, uh, don't get over aggressive in this tank, because I, because I always, I think I still think that's the biggest mistake a lot of MLE players make, is they get way too aggressive. Um, then you can have some really good games in this vehicle. Okay, so let's see. Any TDs? Sorry for this concept to pull all the way up, maybe. Oh, well, he's giving me a side shot, so I'm gonna take that. Nice, 500 damage into the concept there. We know where the E4 is located, the concept and the Kranwagen. I'm gonna wait for the E4 to fire. There's the 183. I might end up taking a shot from this E4 here. It is what it is. I'd rather might help my teammates push in on this Kran who is being really over aggressive here. I was not expecting there to be a Sheridan back there, but an HE into the back of this dude's turret. 740, dude, the HE alpha is unreal. Nice. Now that'll give me free caps on A. The enemy team appear to be all stuck in their spawn there. Honestly, wasn't expecting there to be a wild Sheridan just chilling back there by himself, but uh, there you have it. Welcome to what blitz. The Sheridans are just going to sit in Narnia. Um, M60 is kind of behind us a little bit here. I don't know if the M60 was the one that spotted me or one of their TD, uh, TDs on the left-hand side here. Can't quite tell, to be fair. I'm not going to overextend for now. Those TDs could be waiting around the corner for me, for all I know. Um, and all it takes is one little mishap, and there goes half my HP. Okay, M60's running away. Sheridan's likely running away. Concept on the... I imagine I might have gotten a little over aggressive here, guys. I'm gonna wait to see what this 183 does here. I really don't want to get 183. It's a big surprise, guys. I don't want to get 183 here. I honestly think pushing this side is not a very smart play by me and my allies. So, what I'm gonna do here. Oh, wait, 183 is find a hold down position where I can hold, which would be fine. Like this position here would be pretty, pretty sick for my tank. Um, I think. Let's try and shoot this concept here once. I put it into him there. Nice. I mean, they're all stuck in their spawn. There's not a whole lot they can do here, to be fair. This 183 tries pushing up on me. This is going to be the end of him. You're going to get 50M. <laughs> E50M, there's a concept there, by the way, buddy. Never mind, the concept can't aim. Okay. Nice. Ah, oh, dang. When this gun works, I love this tank so much. 3,700 damage dealt so far. Let's load in the tungsten shells. We can totally HE the back of this dude's turret here, maybe. 603 damage dealt. I'll take it. Get a little ram on this dude for an extra 17 damage. Oh, they still have a Sheridan floating around. Impressive. I completely forgot about this dude. I thought he was taken care of. Nice, another dub. I will, I'll take it. And you know what? This game might actually last about four minutes. Would you look at that? A non... <laughs> well, it's still a bit of a sweep game, but one that lasted for almost four minutes. Two, uh, <laughs> three minutes and 40 seconds. Lovely. Suffer stream. Tungsten is spicy, dude. Tungsten HE of the M4 is unreal. How high your alpha is. 4,800 damage. Not bad. Another pretty good game. Another dub. Um, oh, gosh. Their team was so bad. Oh my goodness. I almost feel bad for their Kron. He got a little tunnel visioned, pushed in a little too much, but probably when he was initially pushing in, he thought his whole team was with them, except for two tanks. Uh, and then it turned out they all decided to sit and spawn, which, which is fine for me because free fun. Warrior, what is your best favorite light tank batch of figures or Sherry? Um... For me, without a doubt, it would have to be the Sheridan. Uh, at least that's my favorite tank to play. I'm not sure if it's the best of the lights. Um, but there's something about the Sheridan. This might be a big mistake, guys. You ready to see what happens when you do try and cross them? I'm on the better spawn to cross because it's a shorter crossing, but it could still go really poorly for me. They have Kazen Point just now, for instance. So the 50B does, does spotted me up there. Hold up. 
We still might be able to cross, guys. We still might be able to pull it off. Let's see. As long as the 50B doesn't spot me up at immediately. He hasn't spotted me up yet, has he? All right, tungsten AP. 440 damage dealt, good stuff. Now we know they still have a 183 in the back somewhere that we'll have to keep an eye out for. However, this 60 TP does seem to have been a little bit over aggressive here. So I'm gonna put a quick shot to him there. Something shot me from the left, okay. I just wanted to make him a one shot for IS-7, good stuff. Um, my team are about to pull off the triple cat, stra <laughs> triple cap strategy. Insane with it. Wait, they have someone on decap. Oh, decap. Yeah, of course they do. All right, 183 is spotted up for the time being. Let's aim a shell behind him a little bit. Nice, 450 damage. Oh, is that the booty Miss Maximus of a 50B? Oh my. Really, E3? Really, buddy? 666, what a roll. I'm gonna go cap A while I wait to get unspotted, basically. So I think they have an E3 in the back there. I didn't realize. I thought he would have been pushing up with the rest of them. Uh, Justin Garrett, no, it's not the E3. VK-72 with Tungsten? Oh, they forgot about the VK. I didn't think he would still be sitting there, though, after all this time. So the VK is just spawn sniping. What a talented player. All right. Let's get ready for the counter-offensive here, boys. There's Mr. VK. And I hope you are ready for what's to come, buddy. Oh, the 50 beast. Oh, my goodness. Please don't hit that. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice, nice. All right, so if we do take a corner, we're able to get some pretty good farm out so far. And speaking of the devil, we got ourselves some lovely VK72 farm. So do come here, laddie. Laddie, and accept your fate. Oh, he's getting TD farmed now. That's uncool. <laughs> you don't have to bait him out so hard, IS7. Trust me, he is not going to be alive very long. Here's what we might do. Oh, never mind. He's just going to sit there and get TD farmed for days. <laughs> I was like, we might wait till we can get our tungsten so we can get a higher alpha damage shot on them. But nah, the dude just, the dude just kept driving around and got e forward twice, three times there. I'll take a dub. GG. Jerry feels so easy to play in, my opinion. Just shoot the tank or break for 15 seconds. Basically, that's why I love this Sheridan, dude. It's like the, um, the least sweaty of the light tanks because you're just chilling dude you just like pull up and nuke someone for 500 you kind of rotate out do the same thing so the other light tank pew 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 there's a shirt and it's just a different type of vibes for for light tanks i, I kind of want the chinese super heavies to be added to blitz uh, do they have chinese super heavies i'm not familiar with the pc lore so hey jeff does tungsten override reactive armor uh, I don't know. I would have to see the percentage. The alpha percentage increased the tungsten. If it's the same as the alpha percentage reduction to that reactor provides, then technically it would, it would like zero it out. Um, but I don't know. I forgot specifically how much tungsten increases your alpha and how much reactive reduces the damage taken. But it seems like it's pretty close to canceling it out. Maybe not fully. Or TVP is going to a very interesting position. Huh. Anyways, I'm going to take dunes here because I prefer hold on fights. And I think if me and this IS-7 work together. Type 71's not coming this way. There's a 62A. <sighs> My whole team is being really passive. This sucks. Our TVP didn't take dunes control, which is the first L of this game. And then we have a TVP over here who is just going to be a rat as per usual. And I'm getting shot from the right. Because our Badger and VK are going to go town. Nice to meet you, dude. Very risky to overpoke this dune here, but 205B is overpeaking a little bit. Ah, oh, gosh, this gun is so bad at distance. This is why I didn't want to go here. This is why I didn't want to have to, like, take a, a distance dune's engagement. But considering what my team's doing, I don't think I have much of a choice right now. This gun is definitely meant for close quarters combat. Actually, my team might be fine. Me and this I-7 seem to be just holding here. Um, their Type 71 is not very bright by the looks of things. So, I think we'll be fine. See where the TVP is rotating to now. If the TVP and 62A get aggressive on my left side, I'll be able to cover. 
which actually might rotate back right now, just for safety reasons. TVP taking a nuke to the face already. Nice. Finally hitting a shot. I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> I think my rear is still safe. Yeah, my rear is still secure for now. Oh, nice. Good rotation, TVP. I didn't want to do a fight like this, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to hold and spot up for your TDs. You know what I mean, guys? Sometimes you just got to take them defensive spotting positions. This one is one of them. Our IS-7's having a great game, though. He's been doing a really good job so far. All right, let's see. Premium AP pen. Nice. Oh, wait, my team has double cap. We are legitimately going to cap out soon, dude. Maybe it is time I pushed in. Let's hope their Jaeger is not sitting back there waiting for me. Oh, max roll time. Let's go. Oh, dear. It does seem like their team is seriously struggling here. More than I would have expected. Oh, I guess I'll get my last shot damage in because this game is about to be over. <laughs> That was a weird battle. Our IS-7 probably found a whole lot. I mean, our two and f uh, yeah, our IS-7 because he was in a better position there and he was able to rotate out for the last decent late late game farm. Oh, you got yeah you know, a thousand more. Wow, what a weird battle. Our VK-72 doing 300 damage in town and our Badger doing second to bottom. So our our town guys didn't do too good, but uh that's why I don't like supremacy. Players play so wonky in supremacy. Like you got like one or two tanks just wander off by themselves to try and get caps, and then it's like then your meds just dipping through the mid and no one wants to go left in the dunes. That game would have been perfect if uh I had been able to go for a left side dunes engagement where I could have used the gun depression on the hills at a more close range distance. But the fact that it had to be so distant, that the gun was just like, screw you. Uh, that's the problem with the M4's gun, it's not good at distance. Like the Type 5 Heavy, although I think it was broken in PC version. I don't think a Type 5 Heavy would be broken in Blitz. It'd probably just be a giant box. Just That would just get eviscerated by everything. It'd be pretty memes though. To have like a mouse with a... 183 evil 100 hybrid gun <laughs> all right well that last game wasn't the best farm but you know what i'm taking these dubs right now and that makes me happy so let's let's just keep moving on we are fixing our win rate from that rather unfortunate streak of losses we had by the way the moment i put same patrol mode on i don't know if i have lost like a single battle yet Typical TVPs doing TVP things, which is yelling around aggressively, being annoying. Yeah, that's right. Get back from there, buddy. Who do you think you're spotting from back there? That's a Fosh, not a 183. I thought it was a 183 at first, but nope, that's a Fosh. No, 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 no. Oh, this gun. If this 57 wasn't in my way, I could have accelerated faster to the left. Oh, the TVP gets wrecked because I've managed to keep him spotted on his rotation out. Which is kind of the reason I wanted to keep him spotted there. Because he's going to be a real pain in the bum if he's allowed to push up for free there. Um, I'm sure he's probably already like over there by now. But there's not a whole lot I can do about him at this moment. It's a posh being really aggressive. My, pro my question is, where's the Yag? And more importantly, where's the 183? 183s, we now know his position, so I don't have to worry so much about him. We also can see the TVP's position here. TVP seems to be clipping, so I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity to help push in and hopefully clear out this 183 at the VZ over here. STB's in the open, quick shot in there. Keeping an eye on the TVP's crossfires, of course, is always important. I'm gonna keep this Fosh down for now. Let's see, the 183 is looking our way for the time being. STB is a one shot now. This game is kind of screwed for us because that TVP has the Omega Crossfires for the time being. 
Okay, we're gonna angle our hull in a little bit here to try and avoid taking a head shot, if at all possible. PvP is still being a piggy. Bro! What in- why, where on earth did that shell even go? Hello, game? Oh my gosh, man. Terrible team! Oh my- oh, well, of course, we have an AFK bat chat. And that- 183 should have been nuking these dudes for 10 trillion years. I don't know why the 57 yoloed with me when he could have held the front line. Like, me- me and the- and the VC. Everyone just ignoring that TVP, man. Ay ay ay. But of course, we had an AFK. In retrospect, what I should have done here was cross to the corner. But I got spotted by the TVP initially. But I should have just gone to the corner right off the bat. We would have been fine. I'm not really sure... What my allies were doing here, man. Like, oh my gosh. The Confounds and the 183 actually stayed alive for a long time. I don't know why the 57... And the VZ felt like they had the YOLO out. We needed them to hold the we needed them to hold the front line there. They just threw their tanks away for free. And of course, having a batch uh, NAFK kind of screwed over that game. AFK sidekick is your hard work. <laughs> if we didn't have an AFK batch at, for instance, that batch at could have gone and killed the TVP. Then I would have been able to work the rear for free. Like there's so many things that just one AFK player completely just ruined that game's potential. Because he was our only tank that could have maybe flexed out and killed the TVP there. It is what it is. I'm not going to be too frustrated by that because we still have won the last several games. So, I'm bound to get a bad one every once in a while. Uh, I should have done what I was going to do. As ridiculous as it may sound, when the 183 was initially running away, for a moment there, I considered yoloing all the way across behind them and into the corner to turn them around and force them into kind of a weird position where they have to yellow both ways. But that, that guaranteed that would have ended in my death. But at least if I had done that, the TVP wouldn't have had any shots on me. And then those dudes would have just been chasing me around and giving the rear to my allies. There was a lot of things that that could have done for my team there. Okay, so we have an E4 trying to cross right. Wait, is that four tanks going to A? Right, yes it is. Yes, it sure is, guys. Okay. Mr. Leo thinks he, he can just sit there and he'll have three shots on me when... In actuality, he might have a shot or two. Let's take another shot to this dude. Good stuff. I don't know where the E4 is, but he's not being very helpful, that's for sure. Um, if this Kron gets any more aggressive on me, that's not going to end out super well for him. So... Let's take this advantage to start counter pushing the Kron. This is why I always um, advocate taking the bridges on this map, guys. Because the bridge control is so clutch um, for a situation like this. Like, even if we kill this Kron now, my team will have a pretty significant advantage here. Really, yo? You're just going to spend all games in there, huh, buddy? Alright, nice. And so what I can do now... Is so our E4 doesn't get farmed out. We know that the, the other dude's on reload for a while. We can start counter pushing Mr. Leo here. And of course, RNG says screw you, as always with this gun. Oh, of course, yep. Now what I gotta do is just hold here for a while. E4, please cover me. But even even a hair would be nice, buddy. Nice. Do it, 54. Do it, Leo, I mean. Pull forward again. <sighs> Wait for his basic pickup kills on that side. Oh my gosh, E4, you can't kill a 600 HP <laughs> tortoise? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this E4 is through. Um, by the way, well, me, the E4, and the IS-8 were holding off four tanks on that side. Our allies still have not cleared out this end. Holy smokes, man. That Leo is so lucky. Oh, that's my only issue. My only issue with the MLE. We're going to win because they have no hit points left. <laughs> I mean, their, their Yo it might be have a fair amount of HP, but the E4 is on 100 hit points. I thought the E4 for sure was going to be fine over there. I mean, it was one... 
Like 600 HP, dude. <laughs> that shouldn't have been. Okay, wait. Yeah, yeah, actually, yo. Ah, uh, it's gonna be too late. Yeah, actually, kill the Leo. Kill this lucky Leo. Oh yes. Die. Very good. Satisfied. We're gonna win the caps anyways. We have enough buddies. He's gonna bounce. Oh wow! Even the E35 is better at killing E4 at, at tortoises than our E4. <laughs> I don't know how our E4 did just bamboozle the tortoise there. That's I still find that to be absolutely hilarious. Either way, I still think I made the right push there. Um, probably should just have not poked the Leo at all. Or maybe, or better yet, I should have just held the bridge and just ignored the Leo and let him sit there on that side without giving him shots. Like, I only pushed on him, so, so our E... I literally only pushed on that dude so our E4 could kill the tortoise and then, like, work that side comfortably. That was the only reason I pushed in there. Otherwise, otherwise, I would have probably, um, <laughs> I would have probably just stayed on the bridge and taken the free farm of their heavies, occasionally looking at their Leo, but instead I pushed in and lost a lot of HP doing that too, just to make sure he wouldn't be able to farm our E4 out, so our E4 could work for free on that side, but, but he couldn't even kill a tortoise on 600 hit points. <laughs> I was like, bleh, bleh. Because I was, I was banking on him killing the tortoise and then being able to crossfire the Leo if he tried to push it on me. Basically, that was the plan. But, um... Oh, well. The dude backed up and then got pegged. So, let's see what we got here. I'm going to spot the crossing probably right off the bat. This thing's a little too big to maybe take into the middle. Eh, but you know what? We roll. Uh, let's see if we can find anyone over here. Ooh, 60 TP has already been spooted. Interesting. He did not spot me back. I was... Honestly, I expected the 60 TP to spot me there, but I'll take it. I'm not spotted. Why is the 60 TP so, like, determined to look over here? Alright, we got a Yo pushing in. I'm gonna capitalize on this, guys. A Yo and a Progetto. We know the Chieftain and the, um, 60 TP are a little bit isolated here. I'm going to become a little bit of a diversion. I think with all three of us here, we can very easily make a power play for the 60 TP. We do manage to put a good shell to him here. So let's get behind their team. The 60 TP had time to back up. Man, that's interesting. There was only a Progetto spot in the middle, but this dude is like already backing up. I guess he was just very frightened of getting counter pushed there. All right. So, I'm going to take a position over here. Together, maybe with this yo, we can start killing this dude. I need to push to the left. My team should be able to hold spawn just fine for a little while longer. Yeah, they should be able to hold that for a little while longer, I think. I'd be pretty surprised if they couldn't, basically. I love the fact that 60 TPs have a lower, lower plate that just is an auto ricochet angle, so you cannot ever pen it. That's always fun. Anyways, we need to be fast on our rotation here. Either kill the 60 TP or start farming their flank when they push in on our teammates. Alright, 60 TP is in kind of in a bad position now, so I'm going to try and capitalize on this. And give me a little bit of that side. 560 damage plus a damage to Amorak, which he does not appear to have a repair kit for. Of course, he might have adrenaline, so he might be able to. Um... Come on, Progetto, we gotta take caves, buddy. We can't just we can't just sit here forever. Okay, another 500 to this dude. He might have gotten the tungsten there, but okay, his Amorak's repaired. But I do out reload him here, so. Oh, nice, nice, nice. We'll just wait for Mr. STB to make a bit of overextension here. Wow, Max Roll Andy over here. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> I spent all game chasing an, a, 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 a 60 TP around. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> Luckily for me, my teammates were able to put up a good defense in spawn, and so this game is not yet lost. Actually, my team is doing pretty darn good here, all things considered. Nice little Max Roll there. Good stuff. All right. Let's see if I can get shots on the STB. Looks like I cannot quite, but maybe this dude. Nice, put shot to this man's here. They have two one-shot heavies and a 900 HP STB one. I'm definitely gonna try to learn. 
Never mind. The video was like, I shot it. Oh, no! Can you stop killing the tanks I'm trying to farm? You Pepega OP teammates. <laughs> my allies are just like, no, you shall not get the farm. Oh, my goodness. My my team was big brain there. I'm impressed. I can roundhouse pretty hard from <laughs> kick, side, kick, back, kick at 33C. Oh, uh, oh, interesting. Ah, <laughs> martial arts. <laughs> I was so confused when I initially read that call at GG183. Hmm. What an interesting battle. <laughs> S30B does not, in fact, have more power. Full gun is kind of average, really. Just very low GPM. Yeah, the MX30B's gun is the only thing I think that holds the tank back. I think its armor to mobility profile is pretty solid, actually. Uh, I don't think that needs to be adjusted at all. It's very fast. Uh, the kind of the, ma the main issue with the 30B is one, it has really terrible penetration. Two, it has some of the worst, maybe even the worst, DPM of the tier 10 meds. Uh, and three, its accuracy is not terrible, but you kind of have to sit there aiming in your shots, which sort of kind of defeats the purpose of its armor profile. Okay, I am tired of getting bamboozled by this gun. What is your plan, dude? Yeah. It works in there a little bit harder, buddy. Actually, come to think of it. My teammates are. My teammates are nowhere to be found. That's going to be a pretty big issue here, in my opinion. Wow. That was a professional level trade there, buddy. Okay, I think what I'm going to do now... Oh, my goodness, there's the E3. Please don't hit us. I believe in RNG. Okay, that's fine. Ah, this other home team is just yellowing over here. Go figure. Yes, keep sitting in the open to shoot at me. You Pepega Andes, keep sitting in the open sideways. I hope 183 nukes all of you. Please and thank you, or WZ. Wait, are you still sitting sideways in the open when you know there's a TD? Oh my gosh, these locos tunneling piggies. <laughs> yeah, you're dead now. Uh, yeah, you're dead. How's that feel, buddy? You're literally dead now. Holy smokes, man. Okay, okay. WZ, I believe in you. But, oh my gosh, he's still going for me. Yeah, too. Go for him. Nice. WZ, go. Maybe help him hold me out over here, WZ. <gasps> he messed up. He messed up there, buddy. Buddy, you can't even ram kill me. Oh, this is so perfect. Oh, this is so perfect. Die. Gosh, these tunneling little, uh, these tunneling little piggy players, man. <laughs> Sheridan yellowing, tunneling me. E5 yellowing, tunneling me. IS4 yellowing and tunneling me. And soon, we're gonna have a 50B also yellowing in the tunnel me, but he's dead. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> what? What on earth, dude? IS4. Oh, well, let me just sit sideways in the open and see what happens. And he got full health. Dude literally got full health to shoot me twice. Bruh. <laughs> Good job, WZ. You were hitting those insane shots. E5 also only did two shots there. Oh my goodness. Sheridan only doing three shots as well. I don't get these players, man. It's like... Sure, it's one thing to focus on a player that's dangerous, but why would you just sit in the open when you know that there's TDs and other vehicles cross-firing out and just sit there sideways just to tunnel like a little, a little harder? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. This is why I always say people that like do stupid stuff by tunneling and whatnot, oftentimes they screw their own teams over harder than they screw me over. Because they just throw their tanks away. And what happens when you lose two of your tier 10 heavy tanks on Normandy? Well, it's really hard to recover from that. Also, 
Screw this thing's gun. I got scammed by it so many times. I should have had 2,500 damage that game. He sure didn't got lucky once. All right, TVP's probably gonna try crossfire me sure in this wall right off the bat. Hmm, we made it through unspotted, I think. Well, not unspotted, but we made it through without getting nuked, which is the important thing. Nice, early shell into this 57 heavy here. So we're gonna go pretty, you know, pretty aggressively into the hold down middle side of this map. We're gonna try and screw over these 57 heavies a little bit. There we go. We may have taken a little bit of damage there to the hatch, which is, I guess, a good shot by him. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, it could have been a whole lot worse. Here's what I think needs to happen, though. Um, do I have cover fire? I guess a Fosh is cover firing us a little bit. All right, let's just still trying to shoot my hatch here. Nice work, 57. 57, get a third shell into him, maybe? Okay, that works, that works. Okay, so the VZ is going to be a bit of an issue in this position. I'm going to hold mid. If our 57 wants to push up to kill him, so be it. Ah, this gun just cannot snapshot, man. All right, 57, I have faith in you. I will keep the mid at bay. You just go for it. Good job, buddy. Push on to this dude here. Come on, 57. Good stuff. Our 57 is doing great work. All right. I think what I'm going to do now is pick up a full AP clear on this dude. Oh no, please don't tell me I'm pretty much tracked here as well. Okay, well that works. Only problem is now our rear's in the open. We have a TVP coming in from behind here. And of course the TVP is just tunneling me and no one else. My teammates are not very intelligent, to say the least. And guess who is pushing in? Well, my team just got annihilated on the flank. My goodness. The only good news is that our... Somehow... Our, uh, our big boy in the, uh... That's gonna get a bit of easy to kill there. Oh boy, so our 57, our 405, our Gorilla 15, and our Fosh could not hold off, what, three tanks on the flank there? Or four tanks? I guess we had, no, yeah, four tanks, man. Uh, what to do? What to do? People playing brain dead tanks like the TVP, yoloing around for free on a flank because we have no one covering it. <laughs> our 57 played really well with me there. Good job to you, dude. Oh my gosh. Wow. 45% or zero, 47% or zero, another tank destroyer platoon of awful players, Sheridan, zero damage, Fosh, one shot of damage, E5 at least did four shots of damage there, so, I mean, oh, the TVP didn't even do anything, <laughs> only did 2k. <gasps> Oh my gosh, what, why? Okay, I need to, I need to understand this. I need to understand this. Why on earth do terrible players do platoons of tank destroyers, aka probably the worst class to consistently win in? <laughs> like, come on, man. We have three donuts and both my Fosh, my Fosh does one shot, so it's practically four donuts at that point. I mean, our Fosh is pretty useless there. Me and, the fifth, me and that 157 basically cleared out all of heavy side the best we could there. That was just a bro team. Forty percent with thousands of battles is mind blowing. Yeah, so starts. <laughs> it's a little bit. It's a little bit mind blowing. I'm not really sure how after. Like 70,000 games, you could still be 40%. But my assumption is there are some players that just innately don't have the ability to um, play at a higher level, which is fine. Or or they just don't really care too much and they're just like yelling around in a fun tank game. And you know what? If you get pleasure out of that, that's good for you. <laughs> I personally would recommend doing your best to try and improve at least to a 55% level uh, if possible. It, that way you are just 
somewhat consistently doing well on your teams. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Okay, let's jump into this next matchup. I, uh, I don't like taking M4 to the bridge, but... What choice do I have? What choice do I have? So, I'm just gonna hold here for now and see if one of the heavies gets spotted up. I should have decent camo from back here. This dude should be the meat shield for me. That's one I7. Bobby was shooting at our T30 there. And here's my concern. Not Mr. I7 here. This I7 I don't really care about so much. My concern at the moment is. Um, MG, what you doing, buddy? I'd be getting a little over aggressive over here, my friend. All for a single STB1, by the way. Okay, I'm doing my best just to try and keep our poor STB1 here alive. Seems like these IS-7s have like a, a straight up just like uh, <laughs> fetish for this dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. With this Chieftain Mark 6 here, there's not so much I can do on this end. But... What I can do is start covering our rear, which it looks like it's getting pressured a little bit. So, let's see if we can take advantage of that. Maybe this 907 were to rotate out or something. Which he is. Shell to him. Oh, come on! I fully aim it in! I even gave it more time than I usually would. Just to guarantee that shot would not troll me. And, guess what? It done trolled me hardcore there. Completely unnecessarily, too. Okay, I think realistically the best play for me now, since I have fast reverse speed, I can pull this off, is just to start pressuring these dudes from behind. I'm not really sure what their team is doing. They are being all sorts of just ridiculously aggressive right now. Um, so I'm going to try and take advantage and capitalize on that. All right, Mr. Conqueror. E100, why do you have to do this, dude? Literally making me miss an HE that would guarantee this dude's death within two shots. The 100 trying to throw. What? Oh my gosh, they're actually gonna cap out. That's so annoying. We've got to pick up kills here, man. Oh my gosh, I hate this gun. Yeah, they're gonna cap out. They're literally just gonna sit there and cap out for free. Thank you. Just. Garbage, garbage teammates. What on earth? <laughs> Bruddy. Our medium tank didn't even try and hold the flank there. Oh, these players are just bad. That's why I hate supremacy. Like, you know, here's the worst part. 70%. Oh my gosh. 42%. 40%. STB does three shots, 43%. Uh, right. 131,000 battles. I mean, he's 50%, but I would arbor guess that a lot of that is due to seal clubbing. I just hate supremacy so much in slow tanks, man. It's so annoying. That game would have been an easy win if it was in counter. Their players were terrible. But my players were... My allies were just so bad at killing them. Like, there were so many one-shots and low-HP targets. Honestly, though, if that E100 had not ram in rammed into me, um, the Conqueror would have died faster. Maybe we would be able to get an extra shot or two out if we'd killed him faster there, because then I would have killed the 907 instantly. That's the, uh, that's the cue to turn save control one back off once again. I'm just doing whatever I can to not get the same bot players over and over again. <laughs> Generally speaking, I still prefer mobile teams. Like, that game still lasted a long time. It wasn't a two-minute sweep. Uh, and honestly, if it wasn't for Supremacy cap points, that game would have been quite a lot. None of our meds are going to go spot mid side. Okay. I get it. I get it. I see how it is, buddy. I see how it is. Perfectly aimed, but once again, this gun is just terrible at distance. Mm. I think what I'm going to do here... Yeah, okay, they're 30, 50, I'm sorry, extended. Um, what I'm gonna do here, because their E50 is throwing his tank away. 
going to load up the tungsten shot. Oh gosh, you got to be kidding me, man. This gun just refuses to hit where you're aiming. It's so bad. Holy smokes, man. I'm sure they're going to have a 183 back here. I don't want to really waste my tungsten, so let's see if we can spot them. So there's the 183. You can't sit there all day, buddy. Buddy, you, you literally can't sit there all day. I guess you can. For free, too. Wow. Let's go. Okay. We got to be a little careful from crosshairs on the right. Where the... This 23 is still just sitting there. Oh. Sure. Sure. That ricochets. I guess the 183 did try to sit there all day. And uh, I guess how that went for him. Yeah, his HP is at zero now. Oh my gosh. I'm so tired of the M4's gun, man. Don't get me wrong, I like this tank, but it's like any kind of snapshot or distance just absolutely blow in this vehicle and it makes you hate, hate your life. <laughs> Okay, the good news is though we're gonna win. So that makes me happy. Yeah, but honestly, M4, it, its speciality really is close quarters, hold down engagement. So now that I can push into the dunes, we should be fine. It's just, it, just not very optimized for snapshotting and stuff like that shot. Very nearly missed by hitting his upper turret there. Yeah, I would not sit there and poke me again if I were you, buddy. I would not sit there to poke me again if I were you, buddy. Cause, uh, now you can't even back up in time. Yep, and you took another 500 damage to the face. And you took 600 more damage to the face. If you backed up right away, you literally would have gone away for free. <laughs> it is like that one shot matters the most, though. That's the shot that can win us the game, boy. Okay. We got another 57 here. He's, he's done getting himself farmed out for... Yes. <laughs> there we go. Two, six, eight, way overextended here. But if he does manage to back up, he's still getting fried. 600 max roll. Good stuff. Progetto should have him. I'm going to push a little bit across here so I don't get cross fried out. And so I can shoot this Sheridan here. So I can bounce off the side of the Sheridan because the shot went under his tracks. And so we can get. Oh my gosh. These players. <laughs> Oh, this is so sad. I wonder if I'm running the optimal equipment for the gun. The gun feels a little too derpy for my liking. I think I'm running a good amount of equipment. That feels like that should be fine because this dispersion ain't great, but maybe we try this combo. What provisions am I running? Oh, this thing has HP? Bro. You could tell the last time I played this tank was before it had HP. Bro, I've been down by like 2,800 HP this whole time. No. We'll go big food and big fuel. Oh my gosh, dude. That extra, that extra. How much HP does it give again? That extra 150 HP could have been so clutch on many of these games. And the small fuel was doing like, yeah, the small food's doing practically nothing. <gasps> Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I didn't realize. Oh, there were so many games now I think about it where 150 hit points would have been really nice and could have been like an absolute game changer. Bruh. But uh, like I said, last time I actually like legitimately played this tank was way before Wargaming gave it tungsten. Uh, the... The sandbags, all that stuff, like, you know, the M4 used to have none of that. Then again, back then, I think it had a better handling gun, so that was kind of nice, but oh well. All right, so I'm going to go up the middle here again. I got something in my eye. So they sent a Leo down the middle here. Also appears to be an object here. Oh gosh, I got something in my eye. Ah! Okay. I think we can straight up just push this, basically, at this point. Yeah, the Leo has nowhere to run to. They do have a 113 up top here. But, at the same time... 
Oh, 700 HE there. Okay, how's our ice for his HP? Ice for looking a little low over there, but you know what? I'm just gonna keep from the M4. Another 550 HP, bro. Oh, so annoying. Okay, there's my rear looking. Rear's looking nice and safe. Third tungsten shell there. I'm gonna do a little oopsie onto this dude. That's always fun. Oopsies are now completed. Maybe a max roll. 583. Yeah, I feel like having an extra 150 HP actually was such a, a big mistake on my part, not equipping that. And um, I don't know, maybe aim time equipment will be a little more helpful. Because I just realized, like, you're rarely shooting fully, fully aimed in, in this tank because it's like, aim time is really nasty. So I don't know. Um, if maybe just running double aim time equipment will be a little better, so I can aim it at weak spots just a little bit faster, it could help. So, I swapped the equipment a little bit. We'll see if it makes a difference or if it's just going to be placebo in action. Ooh. Okay, AP. Okay, very nice. I wanted the HE to rear that Baja, but uh, didn't get the opportunity. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Mm, it does seem to aim it a little faster. Okay. Buddy, why would I shoot your turret when you literally have your entire weak hull to shoot at? These players are adorable, man. <laughs> he's like, let, he's like, let me sit there and uh, and and wiggle my turret around back and forth. <laughs> ah, just imagine him shaking his head back and forth, dude. Your whole hull is visible. Who's gonna shoot at your hatches when you have this giant lower and upper plate that are pedible? Uh, interesting game. I'll take it though. It easy dub. Easy. The F40 Pan is a very respectable tank. It fits your playstyle, of course. Yes, but I would hold off on the M40 Pan for now. Wargaming are making some changes to it, and I would say first see how those changes impact the playstyle of the tank and whether it will still be worth it after the changes. So um, I will stream the pattern after it's changed, probably whenever that whenever that hap happens. Absolutely, steamroll, <laughs> steamroll for fatness. <laughs> yeah, it was a mega steamroll because same control mode back off, which means back to the 70 sweeps, <laughs> which I'm sure you guys have noticed instantly. The last two games have been like 7071. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay. Type Z 132, 1, 57, E4, G6, 8, YAG. Hero 25B and don't really have any allies around here. I don't usually go to encounter, but I just might. Ah, it feels nice to have 2800 HP. That's a lot of hit points, man. I can't believe I was playing with the disadvantage this whole time. I was 150 HP short of what I should have been. Like, you might not think 150 hit points is a huge difference, but trust, it is. Okay. Did. Why is there a 57 Heavy sitting there pre-aiming that corner? That just seems really off to me. Like, that just straight up just doesn't make sense. But, on the other hand, this dude now has, like, no HP. It's almost like he was waiting for me there. It's a very interesting play, I will admit. Alright. Yeager Hatch. Not quite. Let's pull back. 57's dead. And now we got... A, uh, another wild player just straight up sending it up here. I'm gonna track this dude so our E4 is time to hopefully escape a little bit. E4 unable to escape. The 268 is now in, all the way in our spawn over here. Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to run away through this ditch here. Here we go. Chase me if you want, boys. I guarantee it's not gonna go well for you. All right, let's get nice and safe. Okay. Oh, I am so sorry, Sh Sheridan. I'm just trying to cover our rears, okay, buddy? <laughs> okay, so we managed to actually make a pretty decent escape there. Oh, the fuel tanks on that WZR on the front. Our E4 is getting just ransacked back there. So I'm going to try and cover our rear, basically. I feel bad leaving our E4 by himself, but I kind of had to run away from that situation, I think. That was probably the safest play for me to make. Now I can go to a hold on position and stay safe and sound and all that good stuff. Okay. Nice. So we managed to get out of a fairly sticky crossfire there for a little while. Um, 
Our Sheridan's about to get killed, sadly, but we got a 600 max roll there, which is good news for me. Here's the 268 is now a one shot. Now with the 268's rather long reload here, might be able to guarantee just a straight up kill. Nice. And then we could even go back for this 215B here. We'll worry about the Yag later. Let's just kill the 215B first. I'm gonna load up an APCR shell just to guarantee we pen his upper plate here. To back up for Mr. Yag, who is very ambitious on shooting me now. Even though he had to turn his bute to a bunch of other vehicles, so that's always cool, ain't it? Nice. I think we played that game perfectly, to be honest. I'm so sorry to our E4s that they had to die for me <laughs> in my place there. Um, I, I just had to ensure I escaped alive. And I think the rotations I made that game were perfect. Um, a finally, a closer game, too. So that's always nice. Uh, this E4 did an exceptionally well job in town. Um, he stayed alive for a very long time, did 3,500 damage, and uh, it was like one versus two for ages there. So good job to that E4. Our, our other E4 did not have such a good time. <laughs> but uh, you know what? He was a good V shield. <laughs> That gun does troll you a little bit. It, it does. That game, it didn't troll me. It actually worked really well, that game. So, yay. You know, if you keep the gun at close quarters combat, the M4 is fine. It's just any distance combat, it will suffer. This tank is like, oh, we're super conk. Why is there an incentive to get this tank unless you like the look? We're super conk? Nah, it plays very different from a super conk. Here's the thing. The super conk is like, this crazy uh, like generic haul down semi decent semi good dpm british heavy tank basically um the super conqueror is very good but also very generic to play um the m4 is a little bit more unique in the fact that it's an alpha tank so yeah you have to play a haul down but like the reason the m4 stands out is because one it goes 40 kilometers an hour, has decent gun depression, has decent frontal armor and haul down, but also with tungsten shells, you get that 550 alpha damage for three shots and everything like that. I personally really like the M4. I, I would choose to play an M4 over a Super Conk like any day. That may sound crazy to some people, but I think it's just because the Super Conker is a little bit generic, but really good. Don't get me wrong. The Super Conker is good. It's just a bit boring to play. You feel me? Is anyone else back here? Hello, anyone else back here? <laughs> I think that is a no. The aim time is definitely better with this equipment loadout. I don't know if this is really the equipment to go for, but I'm doing it. Nice, 549. I will admit, this tank feels like it, more like it has 490 alpha than um, 480. It, it does feel a little higher than it, than it apparently is. Ay, ay, ay. That was my own fault. Shooting there was not optimal. Ooh. What? So that's a building. Nice meme, dude. Alright, let's put another shell into this dude's- Wait, is there like a- Oh my goodness! Ritz Crackers! Ritz Crackers over here with the $200 donation! Thank you so much, Ritz! I will- let, let me fully read out that donation in a bit. I kind of missed it. Um, luckily I have my stream elements window open so I can always check that stuff out. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, 57s have better turret armor than this thing. Let's read it out. It's been a minute since I've seen you live for the med la doing the Amex M4 thing. Thank you so much, Rich Crackers. As always, really, really appreciate the support. Um, thank you very, very much, man. I, I really appreciate it. Rich Crackers with the massive donation there. All right, so this WZ is just going to spam me and cheat me all game, isn't he? I'm waiting for this E100 to come in and finally help me out a little bit over here, dude. I can push in once I have an E100 for support, basically. Nice. Now that the E100's here, I can push in for free on this dude. Alright. He's dead. Good stuff. That game was really slow there at first, but hey, we're doing okay for now. Although I did fluff a couple of shots. That was my fault. Alright. Oh, look at that, dude. It's like a millimeter. Like, <laughs> off of his 
his little stupid upper plate thingy. Oh my gosh, that was terrible shooting on my part. Mostly because I saw the evil hunter coming from the right. And the Leo coming from the rear here. Excuse me, Diddy. Buddy, E100, what on earth are you doing? Oh, this, uh, this E100 is throwing, dude. This E100 is straight up throwing here. Put a track shot to this dude at least. Buddy. So I think our E100 is a professional thrower here, basically. Oh, wait, 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 please. High roll HE. Buddy, E100, you just like, how are you? <laughs> how is he that bad? And wait, wait. All of these dudes for a. S oh my gosh. These three have spent 10 years here. I don't know why the SV hasn't just gone and straight up killed that dude. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> dude, are you 100? Oh. First, he's sitting in Narnia, like, all game. Wait, I would take the MX-30B first, and why not? I love the MX-30B. Um, <laughs> See you, Nathan G. Take care. Thanks for dropping by. Oh, my gosh. That hurt my brain, dude. That, that year 100 actually was, uh... Mm. Dude had one job. Then he blocks me from going and clearing out the Leo 1. Then he misses, like, two shots on the WZ. He was like doing everything in his power to both screw me over and do zero damage there. <laughs> I haven't played the M M4 for two hours and 45 minutes, man. It's been a lot of M4 gameplay. Um, I need my fix of medium tank gameplay. Because I'll admit, as good as heavy tanks can be, I... Even good fun heavy tanks, there's like only a couple that I would ever really choose to play. Uh, just because I, I like tanks where I can rotate around much faster and set my own pace of gameplay, whereas heavy tanks are a lot of times you're committed to a side and you can't just run away if you want to. So let's take the, let's take the good old MX-30B for a quick little win. Uh, why not? Or a little spin. I was going to call it a win, but yeah, 30B has problems. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I think if we're gonna just decrease the uh, movement dispersion on this tank, dude. Okay, he just loaded in. See, this is why you shoot the AFKs, guys. Sometimes they just have really terrible devices and it takes them a while to load into the game. Alright, so. So far, we're doing good. <laughs> I was worried, maybe. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh! Get away! <laughs> Clueless Mango, hello, this is working, maybe. And this is a partial refund because apparently you wanted trash cut the Epic Sub 4, sorry. Oh my gosh, thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much for the donation. And don't worry, you know what? Sometimes uh, RG giveth and taketh. Ain't that right, guys? Ain't that right? All right, this poor, poor badger. Talk about being caught in the wrong place at the wrong time. I do want to have, like, a good game in the M4 uh, before or before we fully dip to playing some meds before I get off. Um, I love my M4 uh, when it works out properly. It can be such a fun tank to play. Yeah, dude. It, honestly, all that the 30B really could use right now is just a, a slight, maybe, aim time increase, uh, decrease or dispersion decrease, if that makes sense. Um, I think just those two things alone can make the 30B so, so competitive. Because uh, right now, it's not a terrible tank. Like, really, it isn't It isn't that bad. Um, it's just a little bit slow in the DPM department, you know, and things like that. And accuracy. But I do love the mobility on this tank a whole lot. And we can even probably have Sniper Chieftain. I'm going to keep an eye on my flank. This Leo is going to be a bit of bait for just a little longer. Let's actually focus the M uh, Minotaro here. So if we kill him off, we can start working on some other tanks. So I think our, chief, our 57 is thoroughly blocking me here, but I managed to pick up a kill. And now that just leaves Mr. Chief to Mark 6, who's going to definitely turn around for the IS-8, I have a feeling. No way he ignores a one-shot behind him. See, this is why I love meds, man. I can choose my own pace and where I want to play and everything. And just, like, work around the slower vehicles. It's just so satisfying. Alright, another kill. Nice. I have a wild STB-1 YOLOing in here. I'm going to go for the I-7. One shell through his spaced armor here. It's 4,000 damage dealt so far. Sadly, he does hit a shell onto me here. But, we should be able to pen that. 
we've managed to bait a shell out of this dude as well. He also appears to be a one-shot, so let's try and see if we can take advantage of that. Nice. Take some quick advantage advantage of this dude, and now we can start pushing back in for the STB. Yeah, I've always loved the 30B because of how mobile it is. Like, the mobility is what makes this tank click, in my opinion. Um, you know, the only thing that lets it down is its gun handling is a bit meh. But, um... Or it's DPM and gun handling and penetration are all a bit meh. But everything else about this tank is just superb. Why? Why? That was my ace tanker, buddy. Oh! Am I still getting an ace out of it? Yeah! Good old, good old, uh, Amex 30B. Oh, I love me my medium tanks! I love me my medium tanks. Ah. So much better to play, man. So much better to play. You can set your own pace. You can choose where you want to take an engagement. There we go. <laughs> Oh, this game ended as a draw. I mean, that could have been worse, honestly. I thought it was a straight-up loss. Let's give the M4, like, one more good game, man. We got we got to give it another try. Like, we've overall, we've had pretty decent damage performance in the tank. Win rate's been a bit hit or miss. But, uh, man, it's thoughts on the old E5 TPM coming back. I, I personally think it's great. I cannot wait for the E5 changes to come. All right. Watch what you said, 200 like works. What are you guys? Do you smash that like button? Here's what we're going to do. Um, heavy side. Definitely heavy side. I can go hold on on that middle hill. It'd be perfect. Maybe. Uh, be close quarters engagement. I'm hoping we can get some good farm. I have an IS-7 and a 752, which is practically a tier 10, let's be honest, and a new 100. So we even out outnumber them in heavy tank players. But I might get nuked on this crossing thanks to my terrible driving. Unless they don't send anyone over here. Which I think there's a decent chance that they might not, but I mean, they have triple TDs. I have to send someone this way, right? Yeah, one of the TDs already spotted me up, maybe. Let's see. Or someone from the middle. Someone from the mid. Okay. So, now we are aware. Their, their team is pushing in the wrong way. Fans, Sir Climbing Fadu and Dragon are destroying the dreams of noobs. Gravitizing, thanks for stream as always. <gasps> Staggerly, thanks for the donation. Yeah, they've been having way too much fun running Sheridans and E4s and stuff. You know, your typical combination of... A blood trail tanks that are just awful to go against. Uh, thank you for the donations, Staggerly, as always. It is appreciated. Okay. So I think we need to take care of this Yag here. Hmm. These poor noobs had a dream. But that dream was not allowed to exist, man. It just was not allowed to exist. Okay. Okay, I believe in you, buddy. Pick up that kill. I'm just gonna shoot anyways. I'd rather guarantee the kill there than to mess up and have to get shot by him in return there. Alright, this dude's fired once. We know he has more shots here. It's aimed for a little bit further back. Nice. There we go. See? M4 Emily. You just have to be nice, up close, and personal. Then the gun doesn't mess with you too much. And then you have a good time. Okay. You know, IS7, let me be uh, let me be a G and take the shots for you. There you go. Oh, I did not mean- I did not volunteer to take the shot from you, Mr. 100. That was very mean of you. I was only volunteering to take one from the Emil. That was it. Okay, so where is the Yo at? I know the Yo is still around here somewhere. Um, and this E100 is straight up just getting dunked on. Honestly, impressive. Oi, 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 Give me those fuel tanks. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. Give me the fuel tanks, boy. Okay. So. Mm, can't quite achieve that, now can we? 511. Ah, uh, yes. My damaged dreams have come true. I am now very pleased with my life. Oh, I just stopped driving by accident because I am talented as well. Did you know? Ah, ha, 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 ha. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. H -E. Oh, yes. There we go. The M4 game we were looking for. We got 4K out of it. I'm, I'm going to take that. Honestly, I'm sort of going to take that. <laughs> uh, 4,200 damage or so. Nice. The gun work. See, I'm telling you, when the M4's gun can hit, and if you just take those medium to close distance engagements, the tank really can be so, so nice. Especially if there's lots of hold on cover for you. Um, 
you know, a lot of the games where I was struggling to tank, I was having to do a lot of snapshots, you know, small quarter shots and stuff. That's where the tanks will struggle a lot more. But if you can find those more face to face engagements, but without over aggressing, it's going to be real nice. Uh, so we got an ace of the 30B. Uh, I kind of just want to, hmm. Here, here's, the, here's the deal, guys. Here, here's the deal. Um, we got to do our, our classic, you know what, simulator. <laughs> we we got to get our classic hash shells in. It's that time, guys. It's that time. It's been about three hours of MLE gameplay. I think you all got a good feel for it. I do really enjoy the MLE, personally. Um, I wouldn't pay 25,000 gold for it. Maybe, maybe 18, 20,000, uh, personal opinion. So, I'm probably not gonna pick one up just yet, especially since I plan to press the account when I want. But, um, yeah, M4 has been pretty good. You know what? It has its difficult moments where you mauled. But it's going to be that way with pretty much any tank that has, like, higher alpha damage. Um, and a little bit, and sacrifice a little gun handling. There's just going to be games where you're just like, bro, I hate this. And then there's going to be games where you're like, this is the most Chad vehicle ever. Um, also, I don't know how to drive. I am so good at this game. I figured out the process to not driving. Now, 57 is doing a terrible job at spotting the crossing. Like, I mean, honestly, they probably sent tanks across for free and we'd have no clue. There's a 60 TP. Okay, there's the Bashatheon. It is the 1A3 time, boys. I don't usually snipe. It feels weird. But I feel like this is like one of the few maps where you can actually get away with sniping. My only concern is going to be the fact that if they have tanks in A, no one's spotting them up. If I get spotted here, I'm having a terrible day. Like, basically. <laughs> Let's see. What can we do about it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can't quite shoot them. Not worth it. 57 Heavy got spotted again. I guarantee that tanks in A that we just can't see, in my opinion. Oh, I don't know what to do here. No, our Yag lost way too many HP there. I just gotta be ready to pull down instantly if someone pulls up behind me, basically. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I can't push Heavy side, because we have no one holding Heavy side. I can't push Med side, because you saw what happened to our Yag when he tried to cross Med side. This game is just all kinds of screwed, ain't it? I think I just have to be patient, guys. I just have to embrace my inner patience. You know what? We're gonna AP it. What? Out of anywhere that shell could have gone, it hits his stinking mantlet, dude. Like, what? Out of the whole entire side of this dude's tank, and he's sitting in the open, by the way, it hits his mantlet. No, that makes me so mad. Oh, our 57 actually crossed the A for free. Wait, so their whole team set up and spawn. Bruh. I don't know how I feel about that, man. I don't know how I feel about that. No, 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 no. Wait a second. The 60 TP is thinking about it. When he does, he's going to regret his life's decisions. I'm just going to wait. I know the 60 TP is thinking of pushing up here. Let's see if he does. Oh, yes, he does. Oh, God, God, a little a hair more. A hair more there, buddy. Just a hair more. Is he side scraping here? Oh, I see my girl's distracted now. Dang, that's unlucky. I thought our girl was going to nuke him if he went sideways in the open. Our girl literally could have nuked him for free there. Bruh. So this team just blows. That's good to know. You know what, 60 TP, your face annoys me. I thought the 83 is gone for the 57 there. Terrible game. Even worse team, dude. Holy smokes. You guys did not lose med side with a 50B, a WZ120, a <laughs> 30 Proto, um, and a Yag. Oh my gosh. That was, uh, that was atrocious. That's simply atrocious. I should have gone A, honestly, with their 57, but I thought they had players at A. This is the reason I want to send it. 
that was just one of those teams where it's like, bro, what, what can you do? You don't have heavy tanks to hold heavy side. And you don't have... Wait, now that I look back at it, that game was all kinds of messed up. What is this? We get an Amex 30 prototype and a WZ120. They get a Leopard 1 and an M60 and a Bad Chat. They get three TDs, which we get three TDs as well. We get two lightly armored auto-loading heavies and they get an M a 60 TP. Like, bruh. I just now realized that matchmaking was... <laughs> Oh no, that matchmaking was a little bit that matchmaking was a little messed up, wasn't it? Now, now that I look back on it. Like, what? We're, <laughs> we're gaming. Would it have hurt you to Oh my gosh, man. Oh yeah, I did zero WC zero. Would it would it have hurt to at least give us one of the tier 10 meds? Not only were we outnumbered in medium slash light tanks, they had two tier tens medium light tanks, and we had one tier nine. Uh two tier nines. Buddy, <laughs> I gotta try that again, man. I gotta try that again. That didn't quite pull it off. That wasn't what I was looking for. I mean, I got my hash at least. At least I was able to kill the 60 TP. You know what? Mission accomplished. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Yes. Lucas not clueless tried to start something with me because I'm new. Huh? So it's arts. I like where your mind is going. Wait, what? Where? Where team uh, be like making the type? I think. Bruh. Okay. That was not the 1A3 nuke game we were looking for. Yeah. He says not charging. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm gonna get spotted and have to play on um, 60 FPS now. Um start to not crossing the inside, is he? Okay. Charging? What do you mean not charging? I think my iPad cable fell dead. Oh no, this is all kinds of messed up, guys. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> I guess the uh, I need to get myself a new charging cable. I think this 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 anchor charging cable, which which I've had since I started since before I started the channel. Actually, I got this iPad in 2020. Uh, this has been the iPad of my choice since then. Um, I think I do need to uh, get it, get a replacement. This one just seems to be all kinds of messed up nowadays. Uh, this is a not very fun fight to try and take place. Time to try and engage in. Buddy. FPS. Let's see, what's my battery? It's already at 8%. Oh, I'm just gonna have to unplug and replug, guys. You wish me luck. I don't think this game's gonna end very well for me, though, to be fair. <laughs> you can probably hear my tank shooting right now. Come on! It's 7%. Okay, it's charging again. It's charging again. Woo! Ah, my eyes hurt. I do not like playing on 60 FPS. Having your FPS after you've been playing on 120 for like three years is just terrible. <gasps> oh! I hope the audio wasn't glitching out. I hear crackling noises. Let me know what you guys hear. <laughs> this charging cable is so messed up, man. It's so messed up. It has like no clue. Oh, don't you want to poke me, buddy? We can be friends. We can literally be friends. Come on. I'm having to lean so far over because I'm trying not to bump my cable in the slightest right now. Okay, sorry. Yo is not doing too well in the HP department. Wait, they have two 183s? Okay, watch this, guys. We hit the left side of his hatcher. Enemy armor is damaged. <laughs> we actually hit it. We actually hit it, dude. I, I was... I wasn't sure if we would. At that point, I was just kind of memeing for the... For the... For why not? Okay, that's our um, second hash of the game. <laughs> now we wait patiently. And now the wild predator waits patiently for his victim to show up. Boy, 
Who said you could do that, buddy? Dang it, I should have just stayed pre-aimed in. That dude's very lucky, to be honest. Oh, it's United 2. You shouldn't have, buddy. Wait, he died to the 183? You're telling me the 183 is pre-aiming that way? Oh, WZ. WZ, do not die, do not die, do not die. Oh, my goodness. It's me in the 57 now. Versus these biggies. Oh, no. No, oh, he's gonna get himself. Goodness. This man's here. What? Oh my gosh, dude. I hate playing on low FPS. I swear it hurts my eyes. I should have been fine there. Bruh. The, the, like that, that vicar should have been dead there. That was just a bruh moment. If I say so myself. I give up, man. I straight up just give up. <laughs> Yay, I love my life. My life is awesome. Oh my gosh. I need to... Nah, that was a terrible game. I need to turn lower power mode off. Gosh. Okay, let me just make sure my iPad's charging properly, though. Okay, it's plugged in. And... I think it's charging. Okay. Oh, this is painful. This is... This is very painful. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. That game would have been fine. That Vickers is so lucky. Dude's just pulling out sideways in front of a 183 and just gets saved by RNG there. Same with the 422. Aye, aye, aye. Mm. I am not a huge fan of playing. 60 FPS is bearable if. <laughs> 60 FPS is bearable if you're used to playing on it. After three years of playing on 120, though, it, like, actually hurts the eyes to try and play Blitz on 60 again. It would kind of be like if you're used to playing at 60 FPS and then you have to play all of a sudden on 30 FPS, you know? It's that 50% drop of frames that's just like, bleh. It screws over my gameplay so hard. Okay, what are we going to do here, guys? We're out... We're outnumbered on the med side. We're also... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This name looks familiar. Killer Pipes. Uh, what? Yeah. Just as I imagined it would be. Wow, I love this stupid game. I absolutely love this game full of players who are just sitting in spawn doing nothing. And we are outnumbered on med side. This game is just done. This game is just over. How did this 57 not lose 90% of his HP with this many players staring at him as he's... Yeah, there we go. That's what you should have happened in the first place. Deserved, by the way, 57 for over peaking. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Not now, now you get it. That's why you don't poke like that. My goodness. Anyways, there's like nothing I can do this game. This game is just screwed, dude. Our allies are not very bright, basically. And I can't even poke here because I'm worried about that, like, girl being back there or something, you know? I really don't want to do zero damage. That, that looks big time suck. Oh, I can't wait to work and nurse the 57. I hate autoloaders. They are such rat tanks. And the 57 is getting a massive kind of nerf, in my opinion. Next up, uh, maybe next update, an update or two. So maybe less of these Pepega autoloaders will get spammed 24/7 in this meta. People will go back to more usual tanks. I didn't mind the 57 heavy the way it was when Wargaming first released it. Like it was a fine and balanced tank back then, you know. Let's see if I get spotted for this. They'll let me know if there's a tank back there. So there is a tank back there. Good to know. The more you know. Oh, the 200 ulti is dead. Okay. I think it's probably the grill. I don't know. I feel like the 183 would have been spotted crossing if he was there. And now our 57 is dead. This is like, bro, if I'm not just getting one terrible situation after another. I'm just trying to have a fun game with my 183. And I physically can't thanks to these. I will admit. 
my firing squad of TDs in the corner are absolutely killing it. But it's, that's just them. Everyone else is kind of struggling. I, I was 62 into and 5e finally taking the flank back. So that's nice. This is why I hate my life. <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to have a chill time on my 1a3, you know, man? And the 60 TP so determined to shoot at me, he's just gonna send you open. Buddy. What, what am I even witnessing? I don't even know how to describe what is happening anymore, man. Other than, than other than pure what the heck brother type of gameplay. They don't want to do zero damage, but I don't want to get nuked by T either. So let's see if we can we can just barely sneak a shell into this dude. Come on. This is the worst map in the game. I hope Wargaming rotates this map out next. I'm so tired of playing on it. You can spot me up, right? No. But now no one else can spot- Dude. Do you see why this map just sucks? <laughs> do you guys see why this map just sucks? Like, no one can move anywhere. We're all just helplessly sitting here. Trying to stay alive for as long as humanly possible. And there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. Here's where we die, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> he little rolled me. Oh, I did blind fire someone. Look, I have 1900 damage, guys. That means whoever was in that TD corner took 900 damage to the face. Yay. Maybe we can save this game after all, guys. Maybe we can save it. It must have been a 1A3. I don't think... I think I shot a Hesh shell. Maybe I shot AP there. They have to have a 1A3 back there. Maybe they're both back there, you know? Who knows? At this point, I am hungry for more damage. Okay, so... The good news... The good news is this game is not completely screwed over. As terrible as it was, the girl's back there as well. The girl's back there as well. That's good to know. Oh, screw you, 40, uh, 4202. <laughs> Dude, what is this heavy 2 and 5 p doing? I don't even know. My heavy tank player allies just don't exist. Oh, I thought he could kill them. My heavy tank allies just don't exist. I mean, this dude has just been wandering around on full HP over here all game, but hasn't pushed in to kill the 422 at all. Um, this dude has just been... I recognize the name Killer Pipe. I feel like I've ran into the z one before. This dude just sniped all game. 62A sniped all game and then died. Uh, we should win, but the time's really low, so I'm a bit worried about a draw here. Especially this is a bit of a two-shot. But, you know what? Let's just exit. I got a better idea. And the 183 wasn't working there. Um, time to... Just for a game. I... I know when I streamed this game mode, I said I didn't like it. But that was before I... That was before I truly committed to playing the shirt and missile in this mode. And now my opinion has changed. <laughs> ah, man, that was that was just some rough gameplay. I mean, like, what was I going to do? I was initially going to go TD position. Then I realized I couldn't because we would literally have, like, five players in that corner. So I decided to cross down mid. Then their 57 just pokes up and sits there. And, like, the worst part is their 57 didn't get shot once. Like, on his initial, like, peaking, and he should have been, like, full health there. But at least he got full health pretty much afterwards, so it wasn't all in vain. All right, anyways, as I was saying, I was not initially <laughs> a, uh, a huge fan of playing the, uh, the gravitizing game mode. But that was before I discovered just how memes, the Sheridan missile, uh, was in this mode. Oh, Well, this mouse now is not where, no, where, no longer where to go to. Just wait for it, guys. Just wait for it. We we will full health someone. Um, I just have to wait till I have enough elixir to start yellowing out like a like a maniac. Oh my goodness! That hit his back of his turret. Oh man, there's their Sheridan, by the way. <laughs> That's why I can't push the flank just yet. It might not even be worth killing the mouse, low key, because this dude's just gonna be such a pain, to, a, a nuisance to deal with here. Oh my, goodbye, Type 68. <laughs> wow, that Minotaur is being mad aggressive. Impressive. Impressive indeed. 
I appreciate his aggression. Very well. <laughs> All right. Good old gravitizing. This mode, actually, I really enjoy it. Um, just because I think it's probably the mode where the Sheridan is the most toxic, at least the missile variant. Um, and that makes me happy because I like my Sheridan missile like watch this dude. Pop. Look how far he flies. Look how far he flies. Is that... <laughs> I don't... E you know, the best part about the Sheridan missile in this mode, you don't even have to pen your shots to just be the most annoying creature on Earth. Because they're to kick back. And then, of course, you can do that to your mouse if you wanted. Um, yeah, dude, the, Sher the Sheridan missile has been, like, low-key the meme in this mode. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He no longer has anywhere to go. Oh, that looked like a perfect hit. Was that not a perfectly aimed and shot? Oh, and he's practically dead now. Dude should have been fully dead, though, a long time ago. Oh, wow, it's a TL7. 120 over here. This tank has no rear armor. 550 with the HE. Very nice. Saucy. Hit him, one. Hit him, Hori. Oh, that's my Hori. <laughs> Oh, wow. We found their Sheridan. Okay. I probably should, like, once I get to 400 Elixir, is a good time to die, basically. Hmm. Bad shot by me. This dude's gonna blood trail me and shoot me to Narnia, maybe. <laughs> Never mind. He can't shoot. <laughs> Hold up. Oh, wait, wait. We're about to show the Minotaur how this is done, okay? Maybe. Oh, never mind. He was already showing how it's done. All right, Peter Mans. Okay, I have oh, not quite forwarded elixir. I thought I blood chilled the mouse, so I actually have less elixir than I thought I did. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yoink. Oh, no. Okay, you can kill me now. I have 400 elixir. Let's just wait for him to kill me. Full send it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Inferno. Yeah, I shall see. I just waiting for double shot is where it's in. It's where it comes. Mm. Play COD M. Nah, I'm not really interested in video games, to be fair. I know that sounds crazy to you guys, because I, I did play a lot of blots. Um... Thank heavens I misfired before my Inferno had loaded up. Of course, I would have been furious with myself there. Okay, okay. This Minotaur is about to just have a terrible day, basically. We didn't even scratch them. Waiting for it. Aw, I didn't kill him. That's a shame. I thought for sure he'd be dead there. Hmm. Let me think about this, guys. We gotta go for the big competitive gameplay. Ugh, the, the competitive, the, comp the competitive gravitizing mode gameplay. Let's pick up a kill and some more elixir while we're at it. Mouse is playing dead yellowing again. I just want you guys to see why Dead Rail is like the best gravitizing map for the Sheridan missile, because it, it, it legitimately is. That's their Sheridan on the right that blood trailed me, by the way. Yep. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Where's the little homie at? Where's the little homie at? He's back there somewhere. I thought I can do a whole lot about him. Okay. So that dude's dead. Poor, poor man's. Ooh. There's Sheridan. And that Sheridan looked real tempting, man. <laughs> uh, do I let myself die again? I feel like it's too early. Okay. We blood trail. I swear the tank's gun like flips around way too much after you've stopped moving in this mode. It just like floats around for no reason. Oh my goodness. I shouldn't have wasted my blood trail on them. I could have blood trailed these fools instead. We still can actually. We still can. I think I should let myself die sooner or later, but for now.
Buddy. He just happened to pull in front and block my shots there. He's so lucky, too. Why would he do that? No, this game's gonna be terrible. I'm not farming anything this game. I don't have good enough perks for farm. And everyone's just, like, YOLOing around left, right, and center for no reason, so... As this is a thoroughly non-farmable game, I'm not gonna even try too much, really. What I will do is... Eat their shirt into death. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> he just got full health. Alright. Oh, it's a Yigaru. <laughs> he got baited. He actually got baited. No. This Yag is having a... Uh, it, this Yag must be fair. Ah! No! Why are they just sitting at spawn? I hate this game. I, I legitimately hate this game. <laughs> Whimsical. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, you may think Dead Rail's a stalemate. Not if you're playing a Sheridan Missile, my dude. Not if you're playing a Sheridan Missile. Oh! Wow, that, that missile died down before I thought it would. This is so sad. I was trying to dunk this poor dude. Oh, he has another life! I shouldn't have wasted my Inferno. Oh, wait, no, my Inferno wasn't wasted because he never spawned in. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, buddy, where are you at? I hope you're prepared. I hope you done prepared yourself for what's to come. I'm gonna wait for him to use his reverse, by the way, because I know he will. Hmm, he's near me. Come on. Hey, you know what? <laughs> use your reverse. Go on. Oh, he gave up. That's not fun. Okay, I gotta try one more time. What is your favorite tank to play, if I might ask? Uh, uh, low key, probably, probably the T124 right now, because that tank is just straight up memes. Oh, we did 9.3k. That was not a good game. Not the good game. <gasps> we won the 1 3 battle. Let's see how I did in the end. 2,900 damage. Honestly, not bad. I knew our E4 had a good game. That dude was sniping like crazy. How did I still do second? I think I ran into this player earlier today. To be fair, he is a genuine noob. He is a, a genuine noob at the game. I mean, 1,300 battles is not that much in the grand scheme of Blitz things. So, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> he might improve with time. <laughs> Night Vineyards, yes, please, dude. Night Vineyards was insane. A uh, Caliban? Oh my gosh, the Caliban's is such a meme take. Yes? <laughs> Uh, I have hit some of the stupidest shots in that vehicle, and then I've missed tanks from like five meters away. It is the ultimate RNG machine in terms of its gun handling, but that's what that's what makes it fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's let's try. I I uh I just want like one fun game in this mode with the Sheridan, uh, and then I retire for the night and get some rest. He <laughs> he. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, no, please don't drift. Don't, don't drift any further. Uh, okay, that's fine. So I need to take the bridge initially, and then we'll launch the shirt into Narnia. Right, right, right. That's the plan. Uh-huh. If you guys are ready. Okay, where's the shirt in at? Not really sure. Okay. So we got a wild hoary here. Oh, you know what? At least I still launched the hoary. I'm pleasantly pleased with that. Also, I did not expect their entire team to be sitting there <laughs> in the back of their spawn. But now I got rapid fire. Low-key rapid fire on the Sheridan missile is toxic because now I can spam missiles like every eight seconds, every nine seconds or so. Um, for starters, I have a bunch of random dudes wandering through town for no particular logical reason other than yes. Okay, I knew he'd waste his play dead there. Oh my goodness, what is my team doing, dude? And literally everyone is sitting in town. And there's nothing I can do about it. Okay. You know what? At least I have DPM for days now. And of course, there's that 50 TP yellowing back for me in the shirt. And dude, these dudes are just yellowing for me. Look at that. They're being so aggressive there. Why are my players just giving up all of our middle map control, though, is my question that I need answered. That's the question that Wargaming must answer. <laughs> Why? Why are they sitting in spawn? 
in a meme mode. One eight three, you are dead. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Okay, okay. This could be worse. This could be worse. Are you one hundred? Finally pushing his his tank in there. Will that be enough though? Will that be enough? Is the real question. Yo, is this shirt getting baited all the way down low? My allies are finally returning too. Okay, he here's a good opportunity we can't afford to miss, man. Oh, never mind. He kindly obliged for us and, and sacrificed his life. He will be missed, RIP. Okay. I don't <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No one wants to leave from spawn. It's kind of annoying. Um, let's see. Okay, the Channel 5 should hopefully die soon. I gotta wait for the Sheridan, basically, at this point. Because I know he's still gonna be around here somewhere. Also, because I have, like, no one pushing up with me. So. Yeah, there's their sh that's their Sheridan. Oh my goodness. He sent my tank so high. Please don't blood drill me. That'd be really mean. Haha. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, of course the 50 is back there. Now Ray Warner's just wandering to his death, and oh, <laughs> curious is an anomaly. Yes, dude, this team—it's hurting my brain cells. This team is hurting my brain cells. Like, like, uh. What am I going to do here? Absolutely no one wants to leave from spawn. At least I give credit to our Fosh for trying. Alright, Mr. Hori. I think your time has come. I never thought I'd be playing such a sweaty game. On this on this map in the, in this mode, but here we are. Okay, I thought that Sheridan was coming forward to try and eat me. I just wanted to be careful in case he was. Oh, there's the Sheridan. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to drive this tank. It drifts around like crazy. Ooh, wait, Mister Ritar, I believe in you. Pick up that kill, really important one. And you're dead. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, Sheridan's on his last life. That's the first piece of good news so far. I can't believe I've had to be so sweaty in this game mode, but that's gravitizing for you sometimes. You have like the most sweaty random games where like your whole team just keeps sitting and spawn and like not doing anything. So let's see if we can take advantage of this. Oh, I see the 50B coming in for me here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of evasive maneuvers. Stevie is uh, thoroughly dead, that's for sure. And it looks like this dude wants to yellow me now. Ain't that adorable? What you gonna do now, buddy? <laughs> you can't even chase me. Not from there. Alright, I'm gonna launch this 50B probably. How is my team allowing him to do this? Okay, finally double shot. Bro. <laughs> Sigalo, how's it going? Welcome. <laughs> Alright. Man, I thought this mode was fun. But, like, my entire team just does not care. Oh, actually, this mode can be fun. I see. It has its moments. It has its moments. That's for sure. Oh my gosh! Goodbye! <laughs> Fly away! Uh, Minotaro, some assistance please. Even even a hair would be would be very helpful right about now. Thank you. Oh, of course he hits that with AP. Dude, look at this Minotaro. The dude has like no clue what he's doing. He's just he just sat there the whole time and let these things all go past me. Oh my gosh, he's wasting my time. It's too late. That's enough. Uh, that's enough blitz, man. Oh, Way too much. 
Sherry Missile is fun until your entire team just decides they don't care and they just gotta go sit and spawn all game. Hmm. You know what? I still want my meme game, my 183. Oh. So sorry. Have a good one. Take care. Ugh. Actually, you know what? We're gonna cook quits there. I think that's I think that's best, to be fair. I need to also find a new USB-C 3 cable for my iPad. Uh do I have any funny clips? Nah, nothing really worth showing. Nothing really worth showing. Okay. Oh, uh, so I think that's gonna be it for today. Hmm. Yeah. That, that, that's probably going to be it for today. So, thank you very much, everyone, for dropping by today's live stream. Uh, I know the pub games are a bit hit or miss, as you can see. You know, win, loss, win, loss. That last shared in game. That... He wasn't AFK. He wasn't AFK. <laughs> he had three lives. Three lives to do one hit point of damage. And he couldn't even succeed in that. Poor, poor person. Oh, but just in time, my charging cable's glitching out again. Okay. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for dropping by today's stream. Thank you, Curious. I see you've been modding, like, this whole time. Thank you, Curious. It's always appreciated to have you, uh, here modding and everything. Thank you so much to everyone for your donations. It is always appreciated. And those who smash that like button, we are just about four likes away from 200. So I'm sure by the end of this stream, we'll reach that point. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will hopefully be back in not too long. Hopefully, it'll be a tank released on Friday. So I'll have something new to stream. If not, I will probably find a different tech tree tank to stream. Uh, one that I probably haven't covered in a while and we'll just play it and see how it works and all that good stuff Hope you guys have a great day or or night or or morning or evening depending on where you are in the world and until next time I will see you later farewell <laughs>